Hey. Howdy, hello, hello. I wanted to talk about the Gimmer thing tonight. Dude robbed me of my content. That's insane. I, I, so I, I was watching my baby at five o'clock because I was on baby duty and Gimmer uh, DM'd me on Facebook. He's like, hey, you want to co-stream this? I was like, ah, yeah, but I got to watch Juliet. So, you know, I'll, um, I'll watch it on stream later at eight. He's like, okay, cool. And this was this morning. And, uh, at five or so, I'm like, ah, oh, you know, let me tune in, see how it's going, how many viewers he has. And it wasn't up, and I was like, okay, classic Gims. Classic VGBC. It won't be up for another hour at least. Not a joke. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. I'm like, it'll be another hour. I check back in an hour later. He has 20,000 viewers. Still no tech insight. I check back two hours later. He still has 20,000 viewers. And then the stream ends. So, you know. You guys want to play marbles? Who wants to play marbles? Yay, marbles! Yay! All right, we'll play marbles. <laughs> Content backup. Hi, everybody. Hello, claimers. Welcome. Hope you guys get your free subs. Just have to hang out for a little bit. I am in the sage green outfit. I am the wizard of the forest today. <laughs> With my deep... Uh, what's the word? Reverend green. Hello, all. Lord of the forest. Brussels sprout man. Come on. Thank you, Fox Princess Alex. Thank you, Lemon Cake. Web surf? Bad news. We're out of websites. No web surf ever. For the foreseeable future. We're just out of sights. Can't do it. This is my first time in the Twitch chat. Finally made the jump to, uh, from YouTube. Welcome. Actually, I forgot to say this. I need to make a community post. Tonight, we're doing a new show. Brand new show to the channel. I don't think I even announced it on YouTube. Um, I need to do a community post tonight. I forgot about that. Oh, shit. Oh, I announced it on YouTube, did I? Okay. We're going to be doing Cringe Confessional. Brand new show. I couldn't submit something for Cringe Confessional. Don't worry. We have uh, <laughs> plenty. Let me take a gander. 616 responses. We're fine. I was talking to Vince about it. Vince says that most of them are similar. Uh, very much the same. So, uh, I don't know how that's going to turn out tonight. Probably a lot of bad dates. But we had a lot of things to go over, so. Coney, are there any podcast episodes cooking? Uh, we're filming on Friday, and... Um... <laughs> what the hell is this? Coney, you're in EE's new video. He has a new video? <laughs> what the fuck is this? Uh, we're recording new podcast episodes on Friday, and then more on Monday, so we should have a lot for a while. It's in the works, not out yet. That's a pretty girl. We have a beautiful girl. That boy ain't right, though. What's going on here? <laughs> Something's going on with this fella right here. I don't know about that. The eyes are a little wonky, right? She's pretty, though. We have a pretty... We, we had a, a pretty young girl. That's very nice. Looks kind of like my daughter. And she's pretty, too. 
Very cute. Chat, I'm only gonna say this once. Don't be fucking weird. You guys get weird about this stuff. Saying a girl is cute and pretty, and you guys getting all fucking weird about it. Like, I, this isn't a bit. This is beyond that. You're a weird person. Don't do that. <laughs> I, I See, I'm laughing to, like, try to lighten the mood a little bit. Don't do that. That's a child. Get off the internet. Fuck, man. I have a picture of my dog laid out on the bed, and I can't post it because everybody would be like, LOL furry, LOL. It's so annoying, dude. God. Hate the internet, bro. The new first time chat highlight. Telling on yourselves, man. I hate Kotaku, man. I, I follow Kotaku for some reason. Oh my god, 751 people just joined. That's the fastest people have joined in. Dude, every other Kotaku article is like, Mmm, people are posting porn. <laughs> Their article today was like, People are getting around the, the Switch Sports name filter. Porn versus mommy milkers. You guys are fucking weird, dude. Stop. Why is that a story? Why don't you report on something? It's so fucking annoying, dude. Why does everybody want to come on the internet? Fucking just masturbate! It's so annoying, dude. Sincerely. I'm so tired of this shit, dude. My veins popping out. I'm not even joking. Oh my god. Coomer meta? I guess they're getting Coomer clicks. I don't know. I have friends that I follow that I really like in real life, and all they do is Coomer post. And, like, if you want to reshare lewd anime or whatever, that's my fault for following you. But when it's everything that you post, that's your entire online identity? Holy fucking God! Have any amount of sex, dude! Cody has the anime anger vein. Stop. I don't know why this gets me so mad, dude. I don't know why, I just, the internet's pissing me off lately, man. It really is. Everything's just sexualized, 100%, all the time. You know? I just... And I'm all about the sexual revolution, right? I don't give a shit, you know? Get it destigmatized, but... Jesus fucking Christ, find another personality trait. Good fucking God. We could just be Europe and have titties on newspapers. We don't need all this other shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm down to see some areola on page one of the Washington Post. But all this other bullshit is too much. I don't know where this all came from. I'm just so t Rough day. <laughs> I'm actually in a good mood today. Something about that just pissed me off. I don't know what it is. I just got- it, it, it got me here. That's not how Europe works. What, you guys don't have titties on page one? Huh? Alright guys, we're gonna do cringe confessional a little bit. Uh... But honestly... <laughs> like I said, I was gonna watch the, uh, the Gimmer thing. Um... Change of plans. <laughs> Let's play marbles! Yay! 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 Okay, so there are 10 predictions. This is going to be a channel points bet. Winners get your channel points. Whoever bets the losing marble, one of you will get banned. There will be 10 marbles. Okay? One of you will be banned for the evening. Actually, maybe two days. Till Sunday, maybe? Or maybe just tonight. Maybe just tonight. I'm the best. What's up? Being in the internet generation has made me legitimately afraid to say to people I'm in conversation with, oh, your kid is adorable and stuff like that. Uh, yeah, it's Am weird. Am I weird? Yeah. No, is it I get it. I think I'm ugly. No, it's <laughs> no, I get it. I get it. People are strange. I think Connie saw one too many random and it pop up on his Twitter timeline. Yeah. And that was the straw that broke the camel's back. Yeah, I, I gotta unfollow some people. There are people I like in real life, but good fucking God, man. Um, 
All right, what do we, how do I even do this? Is it race? That's the issue with it. I just want to make numbers one through 10. I don't know how to operate this. No, not this. Song. I was just talking about this. Everything is sex and now this fucking song comes up. <laughs> Streamer, get out! Dumb. I was gonna go live with a notification that said, uh, I know Gimmer's secret. But I thought that that would get less engagements than the claimers. So here we are. Alright, uh, we're gonna do, we're gonna do Pixels Raceway. Viewer is Simulation Race. Simulation 10. Honey, I played Fortnite the first time yep. last night and got a victory while on my first game, no cap. You're playing bots, not real people. It's so cringe that you thought they were real. Alright, custom names. Add names. Here we go. What? No, 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 no. What the fuck? Okay. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run a prediction. 1 through 10. The winners get free Coney coins that may be used in Salty Bet tonight, if we do Salty Bet, perhaps. One person from the losing team will get banned. All right? Pick a marble, one through 10. <laughs> Here we go. Look at those marbles. Back to the lab again, we messed up. Good shit. Good shit. That's the hardest, hottest bar he ever dropped, bro. Eminem went crazy on that. Wait, how do I move the camera? Controls. WASD. Is there a way to lock? Because it's not... What? 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 I can't... Okay. Type play to enter the race. No, you can't. Start race. Where's my mouse? How do I start the race? <laughs> Bro, I get, my mouse doesn't show... Okay, here we go. Here we go. Starting the race now. Good luck, everybody. And here they go. The marbles are off. Seems like four is in pretty uh, tenuous lead currently. Feel like we should have had a better start to this, but... All right, six and four seem a bit the most ahead. I think six has the best shot, though, because six is going right down the middle. Yep, and they're going to fall and drop. Three actually pulling out to a pretty significant lead as it goes down the side. Hope it doesn't run into those things. How do I... Can I speed this up? Slow is T. Oh, shit! I had it on slow. Whoa! All right, we're back up to speed. Oh, no! One in ten pull out to a huge lead as they fall off the board. One in six are now pulling into the straightaway. Are they going to hit the boost? Six hits the big boost! Through the through line! It's going to go through, but what's this here? Tires! Can six avoid the tires as it comes down the stretch? Dunk! Oh, no. Bumps right into him. One is actually going to knock them off course as well. And one begins to pull out ahead. This is for all the Cody coins. One firmly in control here. Takes another boost all the way down to the end. Going to be running into more tires and more speed bumps. But I think it's pretty safe to say number one probably has it in the bag until five shows up and leaves one in the dust. Or so I thought. Tried to drop the tire on him. One still barely out ahead, but seven is on his tail. Can anybody get around the speed bumps? Doesn't seem to be the case. One is going to take the third boost as we're getting into the final legs of this race. Going to run into the tires again. Pretty bad spot to be. Seems like he's stuck. And five is going to boost right past him. Five. Getting past the speed bumps as well. That's the fourth boost. Hitting every single one. Going to go through the tires again. Blast right through them. Not even close there. Five has got to be the favorite going into this final stretch. Just a couple more tires to get through. Blasts through two of them, but it seems to be having a bit of a problem here. Six, hot on the trail. Also going to bop into the tires, but it's slowly coming across, not running into the speed bumps. He's able to avoid most of them. It's between five and six. Five is going to take the boost first, but six comes out ahead through the tires, and number six wins the coins. Congratulations to all the Sixers in the chat. However, <laughs> a new battle begins as all the fours in the chat. Ooh. <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. 
I have some bad news for four. Quick poison, I just saw you type and you had a four next to your name. So unfortunately, target's on you right now because I can't get a list of people that picked four. <laughs> you shouldn't have typed. <laughs> Oh, and four, four doesn't even make... Goodbye! <laughs> Just for that, I'm banning two of you. Alright, where are the fours? Hold on. Hmm. Fours, could you guys please type in the chat? I need to see more of you. Wumbo expert. Alright, uh, let's see. Timeout. How do I do it? Wumbo underscore expert. Uh, what, how, what's the time? 10,000. Did it work? Unable to timeout user. <laughs> Hold on. Timeout. Wumbo underscore expert. 10,000. There we go. Okay. I need one more four. Oh, no. Feather. Feather lightly. You shouldn't have said anything. Oh, Feather. Feather, drop that prime and I won't time you out. I see you have a prime on you. Go ahead and hand it over and you get to stay in the chat. I see you with the crown. Make your choice. Bye. Okay, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Holding on to that one then. Get the fuck out of my chat. <laughs> Wait, they said, hmm. Wait a minute. Drop the prime. Come on. I see it. Wait, did Nira give it to them? No, okay, give it to Hey Jude. Thanks, K Surge. <laughs> Why are we getting rid of Pia? All right, Feather, you took too long. You're gone. All right, I'll see you tomorrow. If you got timed out, you'll show up for tomorrow's stream. Thanks for stopping by. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, thank you guys for the primes. You're safe. You guys get to stick around. Congratulations. You all made it. <laughs> Marble's kind of fun. That was pretty good. Maybe we'll do that at the beginning of every stream now. Every time I don't have any content prepared because I was waiting on someone else. <laughs> all right. Let's hurdle it up. We love the music. Oh, this is the fucking... Hold on. This is... Oh my god, I don't know. Can I get a singer? I don't know. Can you, stop playing the same Is that Bieber? Down 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 That's not it. <laughs> oh god, okay. Uh I know it's that shape of you are thinking out loud. I don't know the other songs. Shivers. Let's go! <laughs> Let's go, baby! Big dubs! Hurdle champ! Look at this! Okay, well, this this is literally all Zoomer music. I swear to God, if I don't get it, it's because it came out in, like, 2020 or later. This is a pretty good win rate, honestly. Doing pretty good. Alright, uh, framed. Swiss Army knife. Is this Swiss Army man... Are we doing a funny thing? No. Planes? Little Miss Sunshine? That's not here. I just, when I see outdoors with like a yellow tint. I don't know. Salome. Don't know. Oh, is this 72 days? Oh, wait, wait. What was it called? What was the thing of the guy that uh, cuts off his leg? 48 hours? Oh my god. 127 hours. Ah, okay, I've never seen this, but this is clever, because you have the Swiss Army knife, and then you have, like, the visual of the... Yeah, 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 okay, okay. You gotta try Factal? What's Factal? I've never heard of that. Uh, what? What? How to play. For each guest, rank what you think of the top five answers, hit the enter button to submit. What? Color of the tiles will show... Okay. Most patents enforced by country. Global innovators. I got away with losing Pachamp. Hold on. 
<laughs> Congrats, Quick Poison. It was just for the five bucks. I knew you'd donate. U.S. is number one because we are the country of innovation, of course. Uh, Japan? Germany? Hmm. Oh, wait. Get rid of it. Oh, no, no, no. It got China in there. U.S., J Japan, China. Probably China, Japan. This is in 2019. Germany. I don't know. Uh, 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 UK? Uh, okay, we're number one. Switch, Japan. Okay, switch, China, and Japan. I did pretty good, though. This is a good start. China and Japan. Uh, Germany is probably last. What would that be? Russia? Oh, Russia. Sure. Well. Uh, it's a big country. Germany. Send it. Oh, my God. What's that fourth country? Holy shit, dude. By the way, you guys were laughing at me. Look at that. Second try. Almost have it. Pretty good. Uh, probably South Korea. Seems like there's a... Okay. Damn, dude! <laughs> Pretty good. Not bad. Not bad at all. I kind of like Factal. This might go up on the rotation. Might do this one next. That's crazy. Holy shit. Big fan of that one. We're not doing Pimentel. <laughs> Verbalized Drake clapping gif. Ah, thank you, Yeast. Yeah, the, I, dude, the bits TTS are a jump scare because I I don't we don't get a notification. So, have you done any of the clones that do multiple wordles at once? Yeah, I hate those. I don't like those. Movieedle. Guess that movie game. What? This is just framed, right? Why is this different? Okay. <laughs> I kind of like movie though. Was that Spaceballs or Sp Star Wars? Let me look at it again. Can I not look again? Wait, will it not let me watch again? Are you serious? It won't play again? Wait, are you serious? You really can't watch it again. I It won't let me... Is it tied to IP? Wait a minute. Oh, Link, I think it could be today's. <laughs> Sp okay, I saw the Pope. That's Spaceballs. What? One word? Aha. Ooh, got it in one. <laughs> Movie master. Mr. Movies is what they call me. What do you mean, cheater? The site was broken. It wouldn't let me look more than once. Video game hurdle? I hate video game hurdle. Did you say you thought I could get this because it's old? It sounds very Castlevania. Oh, this is... This kind of goes, bro. You put this on at the function? Oh my god! Okay, that's gotta be so I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. I just want to hear it. This shit goes crazy, dude. Oh my god. I've never heard this song in my life. Never heard this song in my life. I don't know what it is. Flower, Sun, and Rain. That's Rogue Legacy? Rokani. Mobile counts as watching a movie. <laughs> and by extension. Link it 
Think of me to your career rights and life take care. Why did Obama sound so bad there? He said, say goodbye. I, the word is goodbye. Has Obama never said goodbye in a speech? <laughs> is he de did he not say goodbye to his presidency? You misspeak one time and that happens. Dude, I can't believe that's Rogue Legacy. I beat that game. I don't remember it, though. Never gonna say goodbye, Obama. <laughs> this is pretty good. I like this. Fun game. You guys want to see me see something that Gonder sent me that I've been sitting on for a while? <laughs> Hold on. Where did I put it? Gonder sent me this a long time ago, and I didn't know what to do with it. Wait, where did I put it? Huh? So, you guys see all these hurdles and, and things about games and, like, you know, guess the game song. Um, th these are all websites. This is what I used to have to do. A Newgrounds classic. Turn that shit down. These are the old days. Oh, my God. Okay, I ran it. Oh, my God. What's going on down here? There's Buster Bunny. And that's definitely the guy from Clay Fighter. <laughs> this is awful. Okay, we'll do this fast. Do I have to type the whole thing? Live from your grave. Altered Beast. That sounds so familiar. Oh, that's NBA Jim. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This sounds so familiar, dude. Oh my god, go back. Okay, uh, T Laws. Uh, link to the pet. What do you want? Do you. Oh my god, okay. What the fuck is this? Da -na -na -na. Is that Mappy? Okay. Sounds familiar. That's my fucking guy. Mikey Jackson! Oh my god, I know. Oh, DKC2. Oh my god. Why do I have to type out the whole thing? I can see the fire. Definitely Genesis. This is too long. I can't do this whole thing. Is that Ninja Gaiden? Three? No? Okay. I can't do this whole thing. It's too long. Yeah. Oh my god! Only one game sounds like this. With that fucking thump. That's not Comic Zone, is it? Okay. That fucking thump, dude. Okay. I just put turtles. I owned this game. Do you know what this is? Nobody else on the internet would get this but me. It's fucking WWF Raw! I used to beat ass, bro. Razor Ramon, every time. That's my fucking guy. <laughs> what the fuck is this song? Old music is so funny. That's, uh, Power Rangers. Yeah. Alright, I gotta- I gotta get the cringe confessional. We can't do this for too long. Uh, that's Mario All-Star. I just put Mario. Funny.
Sounds like Sunset Riders. Overrated song, by the way. It's cringe. Dun, 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 dun. Is that James Pond? The, that's the Nutcracker, but what the fuck has the Nutcracker? What the fuck is the Nutcracker? What? Oh my god. I know this one. Uh, I don't know. Does anyone in chat know? This- this game actually defined my adolescence. Ryan is my best friend. This is Mickey and Donald. This is Cat. Uh, this is World of Illusion. My mom used to play this all the time, and she played it. She played as Mickey, and I played as Donald. It was very cute. I love that fucking game. This game is bad. Time, time him out. Time that guy out, please. Okay, one more, one more, one more. We can't spend all night on this. Oh, hell yeah! Okay. Oh, hell yeah! Oh, hell yeah! Dude, I once met a guy at a Smash tournament that was like, I can beat Lion King in 20 minutes. And I was like, bull fucking shit. This is before speedrunning and all that stuff popped off. I was like, you're fucking lying. And then I watched him do it. Unbelievable. He did do it. Okay. Okay, I'm not... I'm not gonna be stunlocked anymore. I'm done after the next one. We'll come back to this later. Is that Echo? This sounds like Echo. Hell yeah. Echo sounds very distinct. One more. One more, then we do cringe. Laser stabbing my brain. One more. Oh, that's Park's nightmare. That's my shit. Game was awful. All right, we're done. We're done for now. We're gonna save that. Save the progress. Save the progress. Okay, we're gonna come back later. All right, we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do cringe confessional. You guys ready? All right, brand new segment. Hopefully, it goes well. <laughs> All right. Okay. I have a bad feeling about this. If I get banned any night, it's gonna be tonight. Out a bit. Uh, okay. You might be here for a historic evening. Okay. How many we were wearing green? Yeah, I know. I <laughs> I didn't even think about this, but all right. One second. I gotta I gotta change some stuff out. Give me one second. Listen to the. Hold on. Uh, here. Get in the mood. Here you go. I'll or do anything. You can you can subscribe. Please subscribe, but don't uh, donate or uh, do TTS because it's not gonna work. Because I turned it all off. So. No, I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. This actually might be muted uh, for anybody that's just listening, like on tw on Twitch, like the VOD. I don't think so. I don't see why that would get DMCA'd, but whatever. Uh, okay, this is what we'll do. 
Hello, everybody, and welcome to the premiere of Cringe Confessional. My name is Coney, and I'm your host. About a few days ago, over the weekend, I set up a site, cringe.coney.gg, to get all of your stories, your cringiest and most embarrassing moments, and so many of you wrote in. Thank you so much for that. And uh, over the weekend, we got 615 responses. So a lot of people have a lot of dirty laundry that we'll be going over tonight. Why are we doing this? Well, sometimes it feels good to get something off your chest and tell other people. Uh, I'm doing it for money because people will watch this on my channel and then hopefully they'll support me. Uh, so thank you for being a part of the content farm. And if you like it enough, hey, maybe we'll do it more and maybe I'll make more money. Lord knows we have enough stories. Jesus Christ. A lot of these stories were just people like, oh my God, I went in for a kiss on a date and she turned her head. Not really cringe. Um, but some of the stories tonight, I, I assume that you'll see, are the, uh, the, from the lowest depths of hell. So, these are all real stories, I assume. The site is 100% anonymous, uh, so we can't track anybody. Um, I, I don't see any reason why you would lie. All of these stories have been vetted by another party. Say hi to Vince, everybody. Say hi, Vince. Uh, I have not seen any of them, so we're, I'm hearing them for the first time. So without any ado... Everyone, please welcome to the first episode of Cringe Confessional. And let's go ahead and see what people have wrote in. I should have kept going because the music's about to end. And without any further ado, let's do some cringing. Okay. All right, we have our first story ever. This is uh, this is a big deal. This sort of sets the tone for the future of this series. Uh, writer, what's your story? Around the time the movie Selma came out, we had a small discussion on it during my civics class. Okay. I was talking about how whack white people were to discriminate against other white people who supported civil rights. Oh, God, I don't like this start. I think I can tell where it goes already when I see white people. Are you going to say something uncouth? I was t in the movie. There was some line about white, and I quoted it. White? Oh. Oh, it got filtered out. <laughs> Let me go ahead and adjust the text a bit. Around the time the mo in the movie, there was some line about white and words, and I quoted it. Ooh, ah. Ah, in front of everybody, huh? In the in class. In front of like 30 other people and my teacher. Oh, no. I thought it was cool. No. <laughs> it was not. No, you shouldn't have done that. Did you think you were like empathizing with the plight of, of your fellow man? Like you thought you were an ally with that, right? Oh, dear. I don't know. I always felt weird when people had to read, like, To Kill a Mockingbird, and the teacher would pick, like, the kid in the back of the class, like, hey, go ahead and read that whole paragraph. Every single word on that page. And the kid's like, I don't want to. <laughs> oh, but you did it of your own volition. Oh, that's tough. You were really trying to, uh, you were really trying to do something. Oh, God, I'm sorry to hear that. Around the time in class, in front of, like, 30 other people. And 30 people. I could see it not being that bad if it was smaller, but no, that's... Yeah, I don't know if this could be our first story. Maybe this isn't the first story that we have today. Maybe uh, maybe, maybe we start at the second one. Ooh. <laughs> Good story, though. Good way to start it out. That's pretty, that's pretty bad. That's pretty... Uh... Yeah, you should have known better. Sorry. When I was young, I thought that everybody lived until they were 100. Okay. Afterwards, they died of old age. Not a... I Terrible met an old lady think. at a movie theater. She was very sweet. Her husband wasn't the social type. How old? How old are we talking? Did you tell this lady she was... Did this lady die? Did, like, or was she almost dead? Is She was very... She told me she was 97. Okay. And right. I told her she was almost dead. Yeah, I could see that. Her husband laughed out loud. Yeah, that's fucked up. That's really fucked up. You weren't wrong, though. That's actually accurate. That lady lived to be 97. I'm sure she's heard worse. I think it's more fucked up that her husband laughed at her. 
that seems awful, but they've probably been together a really long time. He's probably ready for it to be over, right? You know? If she's 97, he's probably like 98 or 99. You gotta have a sense of humor about these things. How old were you? Oh, you were just young. That's okay. That's not that cringe. When I was young, I thought that everybody uh, that was in a movie that died actually died in the movie. I thought that they wanted to die, so they signed up for the movie as an actor, and it was like a movie where, like, I don't know, uh, let's say RoboCop, right? Why was I watching RoboCop when I was a kid? I shouldn't have done that. But let's say in RoboCop at the end, where the guy gets, like, splashed by all this acid, right, and he melts, I was like, oh, damn, that guy must have hated his life. That guy really wanted a paycheck for his family. I was, like, six or seven. I shouldn't have thought that. Spoilers? Well, uh, come on. If you haven't watched RoboCop by now, maybe it'll have a resurgence. I don't know. Didn't it get a remake? I thought they were talking about it. Not that cringe, honestly. Because the only people around that were here to hear that story are you and the two old people, and both of them are dead. So thanks for writing in. Otherwise, we would never hear your tale. Okay. Next up. Uh, this is actually a different reader. Let's go ahead and uh, I think this is written in from Will. Let's listen to what Will has to say. I am blacklisted from every YMCA in upstate New York. That's a strong start. I am. I was at the end of a 12-hour lifeguard certification that cost $250 to take. Oh, God, okay. I failed the test by not counting to 10 for the pulse check and only counted for 7 seconds. That doesn't feel so bad. You only counted to 7 instead of 10? If somebody's dead, they're dead. I don't know why you would continue to count. You kind of tell if somebody has a pulse by 7 seconds, I would imagine. Those extra 3 seconds aren't going to do anything. Uh, how did you react? I, f I did not take the news particularly well and may or may not have screamed a few obscenities. Ah, okay, Nobody sure. was yeah. around, but the next day I received a call that I would not get a refund and oh. was banned from every YMCA in this particular branch. Oh, so yeah, you got caught on camera. They still laugh at you. That's pretty cringe. You're that guy to that YMCA now. They think about you a lot. That's the worst one so far. It's not good to stay in the YMCA after all. Yeah, it was propaganda. Maybe it was different in the 70s, right? No, that one's bad. That one's really bad. Because they know you for a long time. They're still talking about you. That old couple, they're dead. Uh, there's a lot of people at the YMCA, and I bet the new bosses talk about you. They're like, hey, check out this tape. You're now like a, a point of, of growth and bonding between employee and employer. Which, honestly, that's probably a good thing to be, right? That means that you'll live on when you die, too. You're the weird YMCA guy that shouted because he didn't count three extra seconds. What did you shout? Can you write back in? That's kind of important. What are the degrees of the obscenities? I must know. Being banned from the YMCA doesn't seem that bad, though. I've never been to the YMCA in my life, so I feel like I'm not missing much. I went to an Episcopal elementary school as a kid, and we had chapel every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Sure. One day before chapel, I was in the bathroom shitting, okay. but I was kinda constipated and was taking too long. Oh no. I heard all of my classmates in the hall leaving to go to the church, and I didn't oh, want to be left no. alone and lost. Oh, did you so stop halfway? So I pulled out the shit hanging from my ass with my hands, and ran out. Oh my god, like a dog? Like a dog that ate a balloon. You had to like get it out with your bare hand. Oh, no. You didn't even have time to wash your hands, did you? Oh, no. Dogs do that. You gotta, like, pull out the string. Oh, God. Has your dog never ate a balloon? Am I cringe? Chat's mad at me. My dog is eating stuff that you have to pull out. Do you guys not have that issue? Dogs love balloons. Don't let a dog near your balloons. <laughs> they, they, big fans of that. It's not like I feed them balloons. It's just like a, b a balloon will pop at like the end of a birthday party and like a piece will go under the couch and the dog will like look for food and he smells the rubber and he'll like eat it and then like a week later I get a surprise. <laughs> How, what happened after that? I heard all of my classmates only to find out that wait, my... Wait, wait. I heard all of my classmates in the hall leaving to go to the church. Uh -huh. And I didn't want to be left alone and lost. Right. Only to find out that my class had not left yet. 
and oh, I ran no. back into my classroom with shit all over my hands. Oh my god. I was the laughing stock of the damn third grade. Third grade? You were gonna know those people your entire life. Oh my god, that's awful. Oh my god. You would know those people for the rest of your life. If that happened in like 11th grade, you're like, okay, I got one more year left of these people. Holy shit, dude. Oh my god, that's awful. Did you change schools? Always wash your hands. Oh, that's brutal, dude. Oh, God. <laughs> you thought you heard that? Oh, my God. Okay, that was the point where I have to thank everybody for writing in, for subjecting themselves to this. Again, this is all 100% anonymous. I thought it would be very funny to make it not anonymous and, like, track IPs, not have names, be like, oh, and thank you for this guy out of Annandale, Michigan. Big thanks to this guy, because they would be, like, mortified. But no, this is all anonymous. Uh, thank God for that. Um, yeah, I, I will never know who you are. If you're in chat and you would like to identify yourself, go for it. But, uh, yeah, th we don't have any information except that this person was a poopy hands. So, um... I'm so sorry. You weren't just the laughing stock of the third grade. It was like fourth, fifth, sixth, all the way up. I would have moved immediately. I would have made my dad enlist in the army. I would have called my dad a pussy to try to get him to join the army. <laughs> dad, you're looking kind of soft in the middle, huh, Tubby? Why don't you go join the Marines? Oh, yeah? And then he joins the army, and then you get to move across the country. So you get new friends, too. Should have tried that, actually. That was a good idea. Verbally abusing your dad for new friends. Good story. Thanks for writing in. Sorry about your hands. Here's a story short story. I was <laughs> okay. about seven at the time and a friend of my mom's comes over and said friend brings their son. Not the mom's. We, we the weren't moms exactly calls. cool, but we still talked and stuff. For sure, acquaintances. He asked me what my favorite color is. Now at the time I didn't really have one so I said brown out of panic. Where could this possibly go? The other ones I could kind of see, like, the flow and the cadence of where they were going. If your favorite color is bright, is it poop? It's something with poop, right? God, so many poop stories. If this just it sends me poop stories all night, we're going to have problems. I'm going to have a lot of questions. All right, your favorite color is brown. What happened? Now, at the time, I didn't really have one, so I said brown out of panic. Okay. He said why. I responded with because poop is brown. Nailed it. Swish. <laughs> Dead on on that one. Sunk your battleship here. Oh, that's... Uh... If you were seven, though, I could see why you did that. He said why. I responded with because poop is brown. No shit, Because Cody, I was a panicked shit. dumb seven-year-old. And poop is funny to a dumb seven-year-old. Poop is funny to every 17-year-old. He looked at me and we continued talking about whatever we were talking about. Oh, no. The next day was Monday. And when I went to talk to my school friends, they said, Hey, poop boy. I was confused until I instantly remembered what I said to the kid. Oh, no. Everyone called me poop boy for Nine. That's two poop boys in a row. You guys are so poopy. How did you guys poop so much? Oh my god. You were poop boy. Only nine weeks though. You could have had it way worse. That third grade guy was in deep shit. <laughs> shit. Everyone called me poop boy for nine weeks afterwards until I told my dad. She told the principal. And she had a speech about name calling. The entire grade knew who the principal was talking. But since the principal was really, really vigilant, oh, God. the kids stopped. Oh, no. They held a conference specifically about you and your favorite color, which was the color of poop. Oh, that's even worse. Dude, because everybody knows they're talking about you. That's so bad. Everybody's, like, looking like this around... You you had the poop assembly at seven years old. They're still thinking about it. But since the principal was really, really vigilant, the kids stopped. D is the principal being this upset about it makes me feel like they had a bad experience too. Like, maybe this poop thing, like, this runs deep, right? Generational trauma. 
the principal at some point in their life pooped their pants and realized how bad it made them feel, and now they're like on a power trip, you know? The circle of violence, it's so sad. But since... Oh, that's it. Okay, so the kids stopped. No, they didn't. <laughs> they did not. You just didn't hear about it anymore. They didn't stop calling you Poop Boy. When you were at prom, you were still Poop Boy. When everybody else went their separate ways after high school, so many years after this happened, they said, did you hear Poop Boy got into brown? <laughs> His favorite color. Oh, I hope you didn't go there. You should have gone to, like, Princeton or something, hopefully. Good God. That's tough. Poop Boy for the rest of your life. If I was, if I was that kid that you said your favorite color was brown, I would have told the whole school, and I would have followed you the rest of your life without you knowing. I would have... I would have emailed your dean at whatever school you went to. <laughs> Just so you know, I would have said you were 17, though, not 7. I would have I would have ruined your life. Would have been very funny. All right, uh, looks like Rod is going to write in. Let's go ahead with Rod here. Rod, go ahead and tell me your story. My biggest fear is that I'm going to make up a name for somebody's story, but it's going to be the actual name of the person, and they're going to think that I actually tracked them. That, like, that guy's name was Kevin. I'm like, thanks for writing in, Kevin. And Kevin is on the other side of the Twitch screen, like, aware, you know? Scared to death. Kevin, if that was you, I, didn't, I don't know who you are. All right, Rod, what's up? First time ever getting truly wasted was during welcome week of my freshman year of college. Okay. Ended up in my underwear in a communal area with my hallway. Ooh. Apparently I was rambling about my grandpa dying and then solving racism. Hey! I need help to bed on my top bunk and did not remember any of this when I woke up. Not that bad, actually. Lots of people have been blackout wasted, especially at college. That's kind of what you're supposed to do. That's not bad. Sounds like you're an ally, too. People say that drinking doesn't change you. It just makes you who you truly are on the inside. And it sounds like you're a good person and you really love your grandpa. How, I, what if you had the way to solve racism, though? Like, what if you were the guy to figure it out and you had the right idea, but you said it blackout drunk and then you it went away, right? You don't remember any of it. You could have saved the world. Not that cringe. Not bad. I understand that's embarrassing for you. Again, uh, happening freshman year is pretty bad because people are going to talk about that, but whatever. It happens in college. I'm sure a lot of you've you've heard a lot of worse stories from people in your fraternity, so you're fine. I got a plush duck for my first Easter because it's my nickname. Oh, that's cute, Ducky. Oh, I call my daughter a little duckling too. So this is cute. I like this story. I hope it doesn't go terribly wrong. I got a plush. I was big into WWE, as most kids are, sure. which means my siblings and they would fake wrestle a lot. Oh god, duckling, One what happened One day my to you? brothers were at school, and they didn't have anyone to play with, so I decided the duck plush would do. What did you do? I got up on a little Fisher Price desk, and went to pile drive that poor stuffed animal. You broke your tailbone, didn't you? I got- I nearly hit the ground, but luckily I yelled pile driver, before doing it and my mom was able to make it in time to stop me. Good mom! That's banned in wrestling, by the way. That's not even a legal move with pr trained uh, adult professionals. And you were a child doing this off a Fisher Price surface. You could have actually broken your spine. You have a good mom. That poor duck, too. Good job, mom. What, did she catch you in midair? Can't believe your mom knows what a pile driver is, too. That's a, that's a smart mom. <laughs> I mean, clearly not the first time I was at risk of bumping my head. Sure. Oh, that's it? That's the whole story? Oh, that's a cute story. Oh, I like that one. That's adorable. Oh, I mean, a pile driver, you land on your butt. You probably would have been like... You probably... You might... No, kids are bouncy. Like, I don't think you would have broken your tailbone. But I guess worst case scenario, you get paralyzed. Like if your spine like crunches, that could have been bad. Um, but I don't know. Kids are pretty bouncy, right? You were probably okay. Not a big deal. It's cringe to have loving parents. Ah, I get it. The mom was cringe for catching the kid. That's what it is. The mom should have been, you know, attending to other things. Making bread. Yeah. <laughs> That's what it is. She wasn't on the grind set. Oh, you guys are getting ads? Oh, that's tough. That's so sad. That's the cringiest thing of all. Getting ads on the Coney stream. Rats. Wow. 
You guys are confessing to not being subs. I, why am I talking to them? They can't even hear me. That one's not cringe. A lot of kids do that, right? A lot of kids do wrestling moves. I know I used to do it. You're fine. It's good. So I was in this creative writing class when I was in school. And uh -huh. there was this girl I sat next to and we got along but weren't really friends or anything like that. Oh god, did you have a crush? Anyways, one day I come into school pissed because I stepped in dog shit that morning and it's in like the oh final two weeks of the semester. So I guess she just said fuck it and was gonna ask for my... Oh my god, Snapchat no. or number or whatever in the hallway after no. class. But I was still kinda mad. So I unintentionally said what? What? In a really rude way after she said hi and she just gave me the stink eye oh, and said... No. Never mind, Dude. And walked away. No. Anyways. No, that's bad. It didn't even have to do with the dog poop. I thought it. W I thought you would have smelled bad. She was willing to accept you despite your smell. She thought you stunk like shit, and she still liked you. You fucked up. She was the one. You could have married that girl. Think of the life you could have had. Two children and a white fence, with a border collie, and instead you were an asshole. Good lord, dude. Could have had two stinky children. Anyways, like a year and a half later, my sister comes home from work, and she mentions that this girl is her co-worker. No! And my sister was talking about her family, and when she mentions me, this girl says she used to like me, but I was really rude to oh, her for no, no reason. Oh, no way! That's a real story. Oh, God. I, that happened to someone. Oh, God. No. Fuck, man. Oh, some of these are like, okay, you could have made that up. That one's real. That one's from the heart. Oh, dear Lord, dude. Fuck me. That's terrible. Oh. <laughs> A missed connection. Again, like passing ships in the night. You could have had a whole future that you'll never know now. That's so sad. All right, I'm, I'm sorry to interrupt. How does it keep going? Please continue. Used to I fumbled so hard, bro. She has the same interests as oh me, too. She dated one of my friends oh for a few my months. Oh, my God. Lord laughing. No way. She was perfect for you. That's your soulmate. One bad day. Yeah, Chad's, Chad's Joker posting. Are you the Joker? <laughs> Is that you, Arthur Flint? It sounds like Joker 2. Like, this is the plot, right? Oh, man. I'm so sorry. <laughs> this is the first one that's actually made me feel bad for you. Everything else is just kids being stupid. You were old enough to know. You could have fixed things, too. No, it's easy to say that. Never mind. It's so easy to be like, oh, yeah, just talk to her later. Be like, I was in a bad mood because I stepped in dog shit. She'd be like, you stepped in dog shit? How embarrassing. I never do that. Because she's a perfect woman, and she could have been yours. That's so sad. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, man. Thank you for writing in. You are so brave for telling me that story. Ugh. All right, uh, let's change it up. Going to hear from Heather now. Heather is going to be the one writing in. All right, Heather, what's up? Happened about 16 years ago. Okay. I was like seven, and my brother was nine. Okay. We were playing in the living room and liked to play make believe. Ooh, don't we like decided that. to play vampire. One person played as the vampire, the other ran away from the vampire and tried hiding inside the house. You're hiding in the house. Do your parents? Did your parents? It's your parents, isn't it? <laughs> I think this is a. I think this is in a non get out situation. <laughs> Morbius. <laughs> Morbius origin story. I didn't see the movie. Is this it? Actually, that movie has to do with two brothers, right? Isn't that how it goes? And, and the parents like one of them more? Isn't that the... Oh my god, this is Morbius. Are you Morbius? <laughs> hey, great showing at the box office. That's amazing. All right, what happened next? Your parents definitely had sex, didn't they? We decided to play, so I was the vampire and my brother hid away. I don't think it took me too long to find him. Okay. But when I did... I jumped on top of him and proceeded to suck out his blood from his neck. Not that bad. I don't quite remember exactly how long it was, but we continued playing our game until our parents came okay. back home. All right, sure. When we did, oh. my mom exclaimed, what happened? Mm -hmm. My brother and I were confused by what they were talking about. Did you have she a She said I left a big oh mark my on my brother's <laughs> neck. 
died. I gave my brother a hit. Oh no! He couldn't go to school for about a week oh, until God. it went away. Oh my God! Oh no! Oh, okay. One of the things I need to note, guys is that I have the reader as a woman for this, but it doesn't ha it could have been two brothers, like two two boys. Like it, it, this could this is bad no matter what. But that one's like those kids are going to get made fun of relentlessly. Oh no. That's awful. Holy shit. Oh god, that's the worst one yet. Kissed my brother. <laughs> You gave your brother a hickey? He couldn't go to school for a week. I hope he's successful now. What if he got out of the school and that was the week that they learned, like, I don't know, arithmetic? Your brother's just dumb as shit because you kissed him? <laughs> play vampire. How long did you play that game for? Kids are so stupid. I would play that game, like, twice. and be like, I'm bored. This sucks. But kids are like, I'll play that for eight hours. I love repetitive things. Just doing the same thing over and over. That's why I'm only ever going to have one kid. <laughs> Having one kid uh, it leaves the... Leave, it, it, it halves the chance of cringe. If it happens to her alone, you know, it's not, uh, it's not as bad. Because at least it doesn't follow both of them. Oh, that's bad. That's the worst one yet. <laughs> you gave your brother a hickey. Good lord. On the first day of first grade, my mom and I were meeting my teacher, and her ta walks in, and this ta was like a tiny bit overweight. Oh god, kids are brutal. Kids are so fucked up. 9-11 <laughs> happened the same week, says Connor Eats Pants. <laughs> Definitely the worst thing to happen in, 20, uh, in 2001. Yeah. Okay. This one's just going to be mean. Kids are fucking brutal. This one's going to hurt somebody's feelings. I've said some terrible stuff. Let's see if this is worse. On the first day of first grade, my mom and I were meeting my teacher, and her ta walks in, and this ta Fat was ta, like a tiny right. bit overweight. Uh -huh. But since I was six, I yelled out, OMG, are you pregnant? Fine question. In front of the whole class. And my mom, because my mom Not had that recently cringe. given Not birth cringe. to my younger Not sister. Cringe. And Not I cringe. guess I couldn't distinguish a baby bump from a Not bit cringe. of fat. Nope. Not cringe. It's fine. Maybe she was pregnant. She could have been pregnant. When you get pregnant, you get fat. Might Could be fat and pregnant. Not cringe. This is Cody's story. No, it's not. Although I think I did that. What if it was a dude? Okay, well, that would be cringe. If the teacher's assistant... <laughs> if Okay, if the kid is going around calling everybody that happens to be fat pregnant, that's a little cringe, but that's more on your parents. Uh, I don't think this is that cringe. You probably hurt that lady's feelings, but at least nobody else knows about it. It was in front of the whole class, but the class thinks you're based for that. They think you're funny. Because, like, even the ones that know that she is a pregnant, they're like, whoa, that kid's mean. I'm going to hang out with him. Kids love mean kids. So, uh, you're actually a based six-year-old. Kind of fucked up, the fat shame, right? But, like, come on. How do you know? It's just a, it's, it's fine. It's fine. Pregnant equals fat when you're that young. There are too many concepts to learn. I'm pretty sure every kid did this. You're fine. My friend and I are wrestlers, and when we were in the locker room, oh God. he screamed, Hey Ricky, look, and dropped his towel because that's what wrestlers do. Showed you his penis. As he screamed that, our coach was walking in. No, our don't show him room. your penis! He hastily picked his towel up and he looked thinks down you're and gay! Came. Our coach gave us our team photos we ordered and didn't say anything and walked to the next group of kids. That's not bad. Not embarrassing for me, but demoralizing for my friend. Not a big deal. You're fine. Dude, you're fine. The coaches seem much worse. The coaches seem much worse. Your friend is fine. I'm sure they don't even care about it. Uh, not a big deal. You're totally fine. That coach has probably seen that over the... That coach has probably been that guy. Because if the coach is a high school coach, he's probably done wrestling. It's fine. That coach was a wrestler, too. They get it. Not cringe. Not at all. I'm glad you got it off your chest. I hope you feel a little better. But no, that's not cringe. You're fine. Not a big deal. All right. Let's, uh, let's change it up. 
We're going to hear from Tracy now. Actually, no, I should keep going back and forth. We're going to hear from Will now. Will, what's up? When I was in elementary school, I rarely used the bathrooms at school oh, no. since we were only allowed to be in the bathroom for four minutes and number two seconds took longer for me. What school only allows you to use the bathroom for four minutes? What are you talking about? Is that normal? It's like a 1984. What the fuck? That's so weird. Especially children who, like, might fall in, right? Like, I feel like that's not... A, but also, how are you taking four-minute poops as a child? I feel like I take longer poops now as an adult, but there's, like, more machinery going on in there. I have more cogs and, like, pipes. You know what I'm saying? Like, my intestines are longer. But when I was a kid, I didn't... This is some, like, Handmaid's Tale shit, right? Wiping takes me 30 minutes. Buy a bidet or a razor. What the fuck? Do you wipe till you see blood? Is it, like, raw? What the fuck is wrong with you? 30 minutes to wipe? The length of a TV show, plus ads. Oh, my God. Let me know when you're going to take a shit so I can run ads. I'm going to make a hundred bucks off that guy. Jesus fucking... See a doctor. Yeah. What are you eating? What the fuck? Dude's eating beet salad and chili every night. Do you know how to wipe? <laughs> are, you just, are you dabbing it? Are you like... <laughs> what, are you, what are you doing down there? Fuck. Can you write in to, to this? Can you write in to... The link's down below. Cringe.coney.gg. Please. Just tell me that. Tell me what's up. Good God. I rarely... One day, during recess, my friends uh, and I were playing dodgeball. Did they dodgeball. hit the poop out of you? I desperately needed to go to the bathroom at recess. What happened? But the school day was over in about one more hour. So I decided to tough it out for the rest of the day. You wanted to play. You wanted to play a little bit I heard more. someone shout my name and when I turned around, a dodgeball was coming straight for my face. Oh God. Not on the playground in front of everyone. This sounds like an episode of Recess. You ju it's just like reflexive. Like they, they hit your nose and it just... <laughs> Shout out like a cannon, huh? Oh my god. Why is every story poop? I, I guess it's a common theme. We've all pooped. Everybody poops, right? You've read that book. Surely he poops, right? Maybe the story's gonna take a big turn. Maybe they don't poop. I heard I instantly pooped my pants. They pooped. He pooped. I thought maybe they didn't poop. But they did. Another poop story. Like the fifth poop story tonight. Alright, what happened next? I instantly pooped my pants. I someone managed to hide it by then going to the bathroom to clean myself up as best as I could. You didn't hide it. Everybody else is just being incredibly polite. I've been you before. I had the flu once, and I was in elementary school, middle school. I was in sixth grade, and I, I was leaking. Um, I trusted a fart, and it was pretty bad. It was greasy. You know what I mean? It was, like, really bad. I, I'm not really this vulgar on stream normally. I'm sorry if this is new for you. I'm not usually like this. So... Christian Confessional is a new side of me, I suppose. But no, it was really bad. And um, kids kept coming in and sitting down at the nurse, nurse's office. And uh, the kids were like, what the hell is that smell? And the nurse was like, oh, we have a problem with the bathroom. God bless her for that. I'll never forget that woman. Nurse Grace. Fitting name. I never really, I never thought of that. She was an angel. Sent down from heaven. God bless her. Hey, if you're eating in chat, you should have ate earlier. I don't know what to tell you. It's 9 o'clock on the East Coast. <laughs> it's a little late, don't you think? Don't eat past 8 p.m. I instantly pooped my pants. Sure. To this day, though, I can say that dodgeball made me shit myself. Sure. That's bad. That's really bad because all the kids on the playground knew, and you didn't hide it, and I know you didn't hide it. You probably had to clean it in the bathroom, and everybody's like, why is this guy taking so long to clean himself in the bathroom? What else could it be? You're not sneaky when you take 30 minutes in the bathroom. Everybody knows what happened. <laughs> like, there, there's, like, a limit of time. Like, 
if you're in the bathroom for 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 one minute, you peed. If you're in the ma bathroom for ten minutes or less, you probably pooped. If you're in the bathroom for over fifteen, you've had an accident. Whether that accident is you've you've shit your pants, or you felt like you got a concussion, like they need to go in and I don't know, you're bleeding out on the floor. Regardless, something bad happened and you need medical attention. Bad story. Bad story. That's pretty tough. By the way, they also added, if there's no cursing for cringe confessionals, feel free to change or remove that last sentence. That is so cute that you said that. <laughs> Worried about family-friendly content here on Cringe Confessional. God bless you. That's very sweet of you. <laughs> or you're jerking off. You, it takes you 15 minutes to jerk off in a bathroom? I've never jerked off in a bathroom, but I feel like if I had to go, I would, like, knock it out immediately. I would be, I would be insatiable, right? Like, if you're bad enough to have to go to the bathroom, it's gonna take, like, boom, 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 right? You're like the owl from the Tootsie Roll commercial. It's just one, two, three. You know what I'm saying? It has to be immediate. You get what I'm saying, right? Like, you don't work yourself up. It's not like you're, like, looking for the right video and taking your time lighting candles. You get it? <laughs> Move on. All right, my bad. <laughs> I just, that, I, I had to respond to that. That guy's fucking unhinged. 30 minutes to, to, to rub one out in the bathroom at your place of employment or school? Good fucking lord, your teachers know. Your workplace probably has a camera in there. They're not your friends. Got to check in on productivity. Imagine, I know Jeff B. My boy Jeffy B definitely has caught some people zerking off in the bathrooms at the Amazon warehouse. <laughs> and his solution is to give them more bottles. That's <laughs> no breaks. High productivity all the time. All right. Next story. I work at a cultural institution, and we let in a certain amount of people in if they have an EBT card. What did they mean by this? What do they mean cultural institution? Like a museum? What are we talking about here? Any, any cultural institutors? Church? It's gotta be a church, right? Definitely classified. Is it the NSA? <laughs> do you work at the FBI? Are you a government agent? Hmm. Sperm bank? Well, maybe we'll get clues from the story. Homeless shelter? Oh, no. That's sad. Okay. Ooh, this one's gonna be sad, isn't it? Fuck. I work at a... It's pretty common for these types of oh, non-profits to do it so that people in need can enjoy them easily. Oh, no. One day a lady comes in with her two teenage children. Oh, my God. In order to let them in with their EBT card, I have to check their government ID as well to see oh, if it's the same name. no. The two cards had the same first name but different last names. Oh my god, she's divorced. I was gonna chalk it up married and then EBT. She's divorced. But I asked her anyway. Don't ask her! Hey, the names are different. No! This is where I fucked up. <laughs> she looks at me with the most defeated and frustrated look and says, I was divorced and I went on EBT because he fucking left me. Oh my god. I had never felt that bad and felt the fear of God struck at me when that oh. lady said those words to me. It was intensely mortifying. That's bad. That's really bad. Oh, that poor woman. That, that, she just had the worst day of her life and you gave her the second worst day of her life. She has to relive it when she looks into your eyes. Oh my fucking god. What did her kids think? I'm glad you got out of there safely. How old are the teenage kids? <laughs> I would have beat you up for making my mom cry. Shithead. I don't care if you work here. Honestly, though, genuinely not that bad. Not that bad. Genuinely. It, it, it's, it could have gone way worse. Uh, I, I feel like these... that She probably gets that a lot. I haven't been divorced. But if it ever happened to me, I feel like I would have to go through this kind of thing. It's just sort of normal for it, right? Ah, that's tough. Oh, yeah. Not that bad, though. 
Yeah, it's just it's it's an uncomfortable moment. I don't think it's that bad. Not the cringiest thing I've ever heard. Also, my mom, uh, quick side note, my mom kept her hyphenated name, and that caused a lot of issues for her, too. I don't have any stories or anything in particular, but she 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 had her last name, her maiden name, and then my dad's name, and uh, I don't know, she was a strong, empowered woman back in the 90s, I guess. Um, 80s? 80s, yeah. But that one wasn't that bad. In high school, I did theater musicals. Hell but yeah. Wait. There's more. <laughs> okay, just to be clear, doing theater musicals is not cringe. Expressing your creativity in an approved outlet is always based. It's always fun to perform. Why is the chat laughing? Oh my god, I love the Legally Blonde musical. See? Have you guys even tried? This is not my submission. I didn't submit this. My submission might be in here somewhere, but it might not even get picked. There's nothing wrong with doing musicals, chat. Even if It doesn't mean that you do them forever. A lot of people try one musical, and they're like, okay, I don't like this. Maybe they did this in musical. Well, hold on. Oh, they did Legally Blonde. And this person said they did theater musicals, like multiple. Oh, God. Okay. Did you fall down? Did you break something? Did you actually break a leg? Did you forget your lines? Did you... Did you... Oh, you probably fucked up. Something with a relationship, I bet. But wait, Ooh. there's more. Okay. One year, we did Legally Blonde. Yeah. There's a song about jump rope, and all the boys had to be background dancers and jump rope throughout the entire down, song, right? all fine. while wearing matching shirts and shorts. He popped out. The shorts I out. was given were a few sizes oh too God. large, oh my but God. it was fine so as long as I tied the strings in the front together. <laughs> One night... I forgot to tie the stings together. Oh my god. This show is rated X. <laughs> you know, not that bad if like it was a bit and and it happened to all the guys. I mean, as long as they're wearing underwear and it happened to all the guys, it's like, okay, this is a part of the show. Uh, if it just happens to you, that's way worse. Oh my god. You had underwear on, right? <laughs> Surely you had underwear on. The short cuz the shorts they said was were too large. But surely you had on briefs or something. One night, I forgot to tie the stings together. Okay. So when the song started and all the guys started jumping rope, Stop the I show. felt my the show. shorts slowly go Stop lower and lower with every jump. Call it off. The show doesn't always need to go on. You, you can, dude, no, no. Okay, this is how you, you know you're terrible at improv. There's a way to improv this. You act like the jump rope broke. Like in that moment, it breaks. And then you like look around and you start like doing calisthenics or Pilates or something. And you're like, oh, the prop broke. Oh, no. Okay. You you could have you could have made it out of here alive. So when the songs when the waistband fell halfway down my <laughs> legs, I pressed my knees together to stop my shorts from going any lower. No way this gets worse. Don't forget, this was all <laughs> while I had to jump rope to the beat of the song. Stop jumping! About halfway through the song, I tried grabbing my shorts and okay. pulling them up yeah. all while sticking to the choreography and singing. There are mo there are a lot of guys singing. You could have taken this song off. You you didn't ha God, what a team player, dude. What a performer to continue in the face of absolute danger. <laughs> Truly unbelievable. The actual commitment. What a true champion to be able to do this. I would never, <laughs> just to be clear, I would have called it off. Good for you. Is that where the story ends? About halfway after failing to do this, I ultimately decided to just run off stage. Pussy! You gave up on your co-stars? Oh, no. I thought you were one of the good ones. I thought you were a based musical theater enjoyer and performer. No, you're scared. Running off stage. Come on. That's so cringe. 
Everybody would have, dude, you know that video of the kid who's like, the symbols break, and so he just starts doing this? That could have been you. You could have been viral. The show goes on at every moment. You know that. Coney, that's so mean. I I've been on stage before when shit goes badly. I've done stuff like that. Coney, would you let your pants fall off on stage for the show? Dude, absolutely. I would have let my pants fall off. Well, I don't know if it's high school, maybe not. High school is different because you're like really insecure, right? You let your pants fall off and you just kick them off. You're like, fuck it. But in high school, probably not. That's true. You literally left Hazmat to cast alone to shit. That's different. If my shorts fall down, it's like, LOL, look at him in his underwear, but there's no immediate danger. I almost shit my pants on a broadcast. That's extremely different. I did the professional thing. Oh my god, you're just like the submissions. They're all poop because of you. Yeah, these are all my story. I'm every poop kid. I have I have terrible IBS. There you go, everybody. This is this is how I tell everyone. So brave. No, this is cringe because you didn't commit. Just finish the song, dude. Insane. Don't call me, please don't call me poop boy. Please don't do that. I don't like that. I don't like that and I hope it doesn't stick. Please don't do that. Because people are going to come in and not know what that is. People are going to think that I shit my pants on stream once. And they'll be like, oh, that my like that's the connection I would make. If I went into a stream for the first time and I didn't know the person, I'd be like, oh, that guy definitely shit his pants when he was streaming one time. Fuck, man. Simply already coined the poop guy. Yeah, but he didn't poop his pants on stream. He pooped on, on, like, you just got the sound. <sighs> you guys are mean, dude. Come on, I'm trying to perform a service here. I'm trying to help. All right, let's change it up here. Let's hear from, uh, ooh, hold on. This one's from Peter in the UK. Peter. Back in kindergarten, first grade time frame, uh -huh. I had a crush on this girl. Okay. I would do anything for her and I have two instances of me going out of my way to impress her. Okay. In one instance we had a fake wedding for the letters Q and U since they always go together. That's cute. She volunteered to be you and Aww. with that I instantly raised my hand to be the other one. I got the part and we fake got married. That's not cringe at all. That's gorgeous. That's beautiful. Aww. I bet that's where it ends. She volunteered. And the second major instance is Wait. the more embarrassing one. That's the whole story? You just wanted to be... Dude, that's cute. Kids do that all the time. That's not cringe at all. This second one better make up for it. And we were staying after school for some activity. Okay. I was tired of her ignoring my affection, so I did the unthinkable and kissed her while no one else was looking. Okay. Looking back, that's someone I never want to be again for obvious reasons. Well, I mean, yeah, I... I mean, that's definitely a big step up. But you're six. In first grade, right? You're like... I, this I don't know. Am I too old for this? Am I, like, I, like, if this happened when I was a kid, I would be like, oh, but, like, our time's different? And then he pooped. <laughs> I don't, yeah, I don't think, chat's saying this is assault. I don't, I think this is just a kid that doesn't know how to manage their emotions. Right? Chat, let's, let's, come on. It's kind of cringe, but it's a, it's... It's a it's a kid. I tune into cringe confessions and Coney's just out here validating people. You haven't been here for long, actually. <laughs> I mean, some of these stories have been uh, indefensible. I don't know, man. I feel like if it's six years old, I, I feel like you're overthinking this, right? It's good that you cared about it, I guess. But, like, you know, it, it, it just you learned from it, right? It just... I'm mad at Vince for picking this story. Because <laughs> now chat's having a civil war.
This was engagement bait. Okay, I can't. Okay, he can't. You can, and you did. You shouldn't have picked this one. You knew that this was going to happen. I think that's normal. I think if it's six, if, a, if, if, okay, if my daughter's at school and some boy had a crush on her and kissed her really quick, I'd be like, you know, that's, that's weird, but like, whatever, it doesn't mean anything by it. It's a fucking, it's, it's a quick kiss. It's a peck, it's probably just a peck on the cheek. Okay. Whatever. Next story. This guy's also British. By far, one of my cringiest moments was when I kicked that kid's ass. Would you? You beat the hell out of that kid? You like power bomb him off the roof of the school? By far, one of my cringiest moments was That's when the I cringe was at my story? first hand beating up a six year old. Sixteen. Someone was blasting each other no harna from Bleach, and I'm like, ooh, I love that song. And I went over there. Okay, the cringiest thing about this story is that you said the name of the song. That's the worst thing you did here. You could have just said a song from Bleach, but you really wanted to, like, relate to me or to chat, and this is like a cry. This is like an outreach. It's like, you guys know that song, right? That's really fun. It's not fun. It's not cool. Chat's going to be like, oh my god, that song, that's not cringe. That song is sugoi. Stupid. This is a cry for help. Yeah, I, I'm not going to, not validating this one. All right, what happened next? Someone was blasting each other no harna from Didn't the Didn't get any easier on the like second one. I love that song. And I went over there. Loudly and badly sang along for a sec, not getting a single word right oh, because I didn't man. know Japanese and people were staring at me before I realized what I was doing. Oh, no, you knew what you were doing. You just wanted the attention. You definitely knew what you were doing. I know you did. But you know what? You know what, though? I'm going to say it. Not cringe. Well, cringe. Cringe. Uh, cringe in, in, in the relative sense. In the grand scheme of things, this is cringe. But... At an anime con, this is not a terribly bad thing. I've been to Smash tournaments where they start singing uh, Live and Learn from Sonic, and they're all having a great time, and I want to blow my fucking brains out. But in the context of that, I guess it's not cringe, right? Everybody's having a good time. They're all here for Sonic the Hedgehog, whatever. And I'm, like, rethinking every choice I've ever made to get to that point. That's cool. What do you mean? Who's going to tell them? How old are you? It's not cool. At an anime con, that's not, it, it's it's normal. That's going to happen all the time. Uh, and I don't think, I think of the people at that anime con, maybe 10% know Japanese. They probably thought you you knew the song. They were probably staring at you like, wow, that guy's really cool. He knows Ichirin no Hana from Bleach. That's my favorite Bleach song. You were actually the coolest guy at that convention. I want you to know that. You were the cringe one in that situation, Coney. What, for not singing Live and Learn? Okay, buddy. How is Sonic 2? 10 out of 10, Bat Chest! Oh my god, they really respect the fans! It's not just another buddy comedy movie for kids! Knuckles was so cool! Get the fuck out of my chat. Sonic 2 fans. The critics just don't understand. This is what Sonic want, the Sonic fans wanted the whole time. Of course it did. It is. They gave you chicken nuggets. You wanted chicken nuggets and you got chicken nuggets and now you're clapping your hands. It's a fucking kids movie. Stupid. You got the you got the kids cuisine of cinema with the little brownie. <laughs> Sonic fans in my chat. Dumb. It's more cringe to know the lyrics to a Japanese song but have no idea what you're saying. Uh I guess so cuz you're cuz you're just like really trying to like you're try you you think you know the words, or you're just like phonetically speaking it because you've heard so many times. That's pretty bad. I will say that. But people have done much worse. You're at an anime convention. The bar for cringe is like you're on the curve anyway, so you're fine. Don't worry about it. One time while I was about fifteen years old, I was walking along the boardwalk in Wildwood, NJ with my cousin. Okay. There was an ice cream shop that gave out free samples. Okay, like where this is I went is going. up to get my free sample first. Okay. The employee scooped up the ice cream and reached out to hand me the wooden spoon that had the ice cream in it. Did you take it from them like a deer? Did you 
Were you like a farm animal at a petting zoo? Were you like a goat? I you ate you ate it from their hand, didn't you? It was like a sugar cube. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. I know I know how this go you did that, didn't you? I went up to for whatever god forsaken reason, <laughs> instead of reaching out to grab the spoon, mm. I bent over to eat the ice cream while the employee was still holding <laughs> it instead of just grabbing the spoon and eating it myself. You're raised by wolves. Oh my god, my dog does that. That's very sensual. I bet the worker was like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> you know what, though? You know what? Uh... Never mind. Never mind. I was going to say, I bet that's not the first time this happened. I actually worked in ice cream shop for like two years. That never happened to me. So that's the only time that's happened. This is cringe. I did work at an ice cream place and this never happened to me once. I tried to save you. I went back into my memory catalog. Couldn't find it. Couldn't find it. You're fucked. I bent to... I have no idea why I did this. And I think about it with contempt at least once a week. Okay. So, this worker doesn't think about you all the time, but when they do, this is that special kind of cringe where it is more embarrassing because the person knows you're embarrassed by it. Does that make sense? If you did that and you laughed about it and you are like, ah, I don't know why I did that, and you guys both had a chuckle, that's fine. But because they saw the panic and fear in your eyes, now that sticks with them. And they, they actually feel kind of cr I Dude, if I was them, I would feel cringy because I didn't acknowledge it. And I wasn't like, oh, that's, you know, silly, huh? The fact that they, they know that you were embarrassed makes it worse. This is pretty bad, but it's very funny. Thank you for writing in with this one. All I could think of are those, uh, are they Turkish ice cream? The dudes that do the flips and shit? You know what I mean? You gotta go to that guy. <laughs> just get ice cream all over you, just putting your head out, and it's just smacking you in the face. Not a bad one. If I'm the employee, I'm telling that story to everyone. I guess you would tell people, but, like, it's not that bad, right? I feel like way worse stuff happens. There's probably a lot of creepy 60, 70-year-old guys that come in there that are, like, really creepy and, and uh, flirty. They're way cringier than just, like, a 15-year-old that ate out of a spoon, right? Not that bad. A little weird, but not too bad. All right, let's continue. All right, let's change it up on this one. We're gonna hear from our good friend uh, from Australia. This is Tyler. Hello, Mr. Coney. During the summer years back, I used to sneak out pretty frequently to see this girl. Oh, young love. I was into her, but I was pretty awkward at expressing it. That's fine. One night, we were watching a movie. Mm -hmm. I was pretty tired, but I didn't say anything until afterwards. Okay. Something like, wow, I almost fell asleep. And then she was like, wow, me too. Okay. We could have slept together. And I was like, ha ha, yeah. <laughs> and then went home. Okay. It did not occur to me until I went home uh, that I was missed like yeah. the biggest hint ever. Yeah. Yeah, you, you blew it. Yeah, you blew it. Fumbled, fumbled. Hey, hey, chat, raise your hand. Ra We've all been there. That's all of us, right? That's literally everybody in here. We've all been there. That happened to all of us. I Listen, that's not bad. That's totally fine. That's going to happen to you. Think about all the encounters that you've missed out on right now at this point in your life. And just know that you're going to quadruple it by the end of your life by being an insecure little bitch so who gives a shit right the the quicker you get over yourself the sooner and the 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 less recent that will happen to you man up maybe this will help someone maybe hey maybe you writing in will allow this not to happen to someone else also to be fair maybe she didn't mean that right like, maybe you would have went in for a kiss and she would have, like, pulled away. Maybe you were right. Maybe you should never talk to or kiss another woman for the rest of your life. Maybe you're hideous. Oh, my God. I didn't even think of that about that. Maybe you're ungodly ugly and shouldn't go outside. Maybe you should never talk to another woman. That's another option. And I can't tell you what the answer is. Thanks for writing in.
I was handing out candy to kids during Halloween, and instead of giving kids <laughs> candy, apples? I would hold out the bowl and tell them to help themselves. Oh, dude, I do this now, because I don't want to hand out the candy. I, 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 I do this because I want to be the cool guy. Like, I want to be the cool guy on the block, so it's like, uh, I'll like hold out the candy, because like, what if I drop like a Smarties in their bag, and they're like, this shit sucks, I'm like, you're right, here's a Kit Kat, right? I want them to pick. I want to be the cool, the cool dad, right? Um, but then that, that just means by the end of the night, I have a lot of Milky Ways. Because nobody wants to eat the Milky Ways. I was handing out Sorry candy to, to kids. It worked out and kids were pretty happy to grab handfuls of candy. Sure, of course. Towards the end of the night, a girl wearing... Don't buy boring candy. No, 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 no. No. Have you... Do you shop for candy? Are you too young? Did you, do your parents buy the Halloween candy for you? Be honest. Because now I think you, I, I think we have a person that doesn't do Halloween on their own detected. Because Halloween candy, what they'll do is they'll be like, Reese's, Kit Kat, M&M's, and 100 grand. They do that on purpose. They're trying to get rid of inventory. They're, they're, they'll put in all the good shit and then they'll be like, oh, here's a mounds. Nobody wants the mounds. 100 grand is great. And more cringe in the chat. Wow, look at that. You guys should write in. It's disgusting. Wait, Coney, why do you say Reese's wrong? You know what? I say Reese's in real life for some reason. When a camera's on me, I say Reese's. Swear to God that happens. It's like me saying niche. I think I get self-conscious about saying the word and people correcting me. I swear to God. In real life, I'll say Reese's. But when I get on the camera, I'm like, I, I don't want people to make fun of me. Uh, 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 Reese's. It belongs to Reese. You know? I don't know. You should write that in. If that was... If, if, I, if I wrote that in and I read it myself, I'd be like, that's not cringe. Actually, it's okay to, ha to doubt yourself sometimes. And to have some, some fun little tics that nobody else knows about but you. It's okay to be a person. It just means that you're human. Towards the end of the night, a girl wearing a witch costume knocks on the door. Okay. I tell her to help herself, but she kind of looks at me blankly. Oh, shit. I see yes. her holding her trick or treat bag in one hand, so I'm a bit confused. She does a little wiggle, and I notice that her left sleeve is just blowing in the oh, wind. Oh, no. The sleeve is empty, and this girl only has one oh, arm. Oh, no. Her mom is standing behind her, and she looks horrified. Mm. I practically dumped the whole bowl into her bag and wish them a good night. Oh, that poor girl. I haven't given out candy since, and it has been four years. Oh, that's so sad. She had a witch accident. Oh, no. <laughs> she burned her arm in the cauldron. Oh, that poor girl. Oh, cast the wrong spell. That's so sad. <laughs> oh, that never happened in Harry Potter. Bounce off the mirror. <laughs> What's the death spell? What's a... Avada Kedavra... Hits you in the shoulder. <laughs> the girl's not gonna see this. The one-armed witch isn't gonna see this. Be nice. Come on. <laughs> Based libertarian Coney making a return. Couldn't you tell by the outfit? Am I not the picture of a libertarian here? Hmm. Hey, listen, if you're in this chat right now, I'm sorry about your arm. I'm sure they have a new one by now. Prosthetics have gone a long way. Genuinely. It's 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 fine. It's okay. She's not gonna watch this. She doesn't know. And, yeah, she can't type back. And if she can, it's going to take her a very long time. So, yeah. She's got to, like, hunt and peck. It'll be, we'll think she's a mobile viewer. <laughs> mobile moment. Good point. <laughs> no, I just, I don't think, this is a little uncomfortable, right? It's a little uncomfortable, but it's fine, right? It's not a big deal. That poor girl, I'm... Uh, you gave her all the candy. I'm sure she was very happy. 17 ads? <laughs> Thanks for the money. No, that's not too bad. I, I'm, I'm thinking of like... Yeah, that's fine. At least you don't leave out the bowls. I was one of those kids, like, the parents would go, and they would leave out the bowls, and I would literally just, all I would do is just dump the entire bowl into my bag. I didn't give a fuck. 
The weak should fear the strong. This is my candy now. I would scope out the houses, too. You're a cunt. I, I, I'm a fat cunt. I'm a fat cunt that gets to eat all the candy I want. I got a big tummy ache. <laughs> awful person? I'm a, I was a teenager. I was like 13, 14. 13, 14 year olds are awful. My tummy hurt for a week. You were that kid? Hell yeah, I was that kid. I was like 13 or 14. Like, you don't have morality when you're 13 or 14. Right? I don't know. <laughs> I guess you kind of do. <laughs> Usually. I wouldn't do it now. I wouldn't do that now. I just did it then. I actually... <laughs> <laughs> so I used to be really good at rollerblading what I would do is uh, I wouldn't go trick or treating but if I I would be out on rollerblades and uh, I was very fast and uh, I would like scope out the houses and if I saw any with uh, with bulls Go home with like a thousand Reese's. Reese's! Jesus Christ, it happened again. It's delicious. Hey, I, it wasn't just for me. I had two siblings, okay? I had two siblings I had to provide for. I'm like Aladdin. I'm not evil. That's one fucking house. Do you know how cheap candy is? What are you talking about? Candy is like you could get a giant bag at CVS for like four bucks. No, chat's being cringe now. This is so stupid. I can't believe I'm getting baited and stunlocked by this. This is dumb. It's fine. It's $15.99. I don't know what kind of candy you're buying. That's way too expensive. All right. Enough Halloween posting. <laughs> I'm just saying it's not that bad. <laughs> I am the Aladdin of Halloween. In eighth grade. I finished up my health class and was walking down some stairs going to my third class of the day. Okay. When I reached the bottom, the most popular girl in the school walked up to me and tried hugging me super randomly. Cool. I had never spoken to her and I was the opposite of popular. Oh, and no. because I was a very oh, awkward no, no, kid no, 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 and no. didn't think to just hug her back and go on with the rest of my day or just tell her no. I walked away very quickly while she was trying to wrap her arms around me and did not say a word to her. Hey, buddy. You avoided a trap. You were about to get carried. Like the movie Carrie. Like Stephen King. You actually, you did the right thing. You did the right thing. If she'd never talked to you before and she tried to give you a hug, you dodged a bullet there. You killed it on this one. You're not cringe. You're a king. Chad's calling you a Sigma. I want you to know that. That could have been really bad. That was like a mimic. You know what I mean? Like the popular girl trying to give you a hug. It's like, oh, a hug from a girl. But wait. You know what I mean? Like something uh, something very bad was going to happen. I was convinced that every woman I spoke to was playing a very elaborate trick on me in school. Let me finish this story and then I have one of my own. <laughs> I walked away very... I could hear her friends laughing towards us since I think it was some kind of dare for her to go up to me and hug me. There we go. Yeah, you killed it. No, that's not even awkward. They're fucked up. I hope you're rich. I hope you're rich right now. I hope you are a silica. I hope you're Elon Musk. I hope you're watching this right now. Hey, congrats on the Twitter buyout, King. Very proud of you. Thank God you're saving our free speech. <laughs> Based. Holy shit, dude. That's crazy. That's actually insane. <laughs> <laughs> this is when you say who submitted it. Yeah, if I had who submitted it, they're a VIP right now. Incredible. Libertarian Cody kicking in again. Oh, boy. It's a different type. It's a different breed out here. This is a W. This is actually a fat W. Congratulations. You avoided the trap, and all of her friends are giggling at you, but whatever. It's it's like they, they would laugh at you for like a week, and then they would pick on another kid. You killed it. I could hear Not her cringe. friends laughing towards us since I think it was some kind Not of cringe. dare for her to go up to me and hug me. Not at all. It was very odd. It, it is a little odd, uh, I, but listen, I, I was in high school too. I uh, I thought every time a girl showed interest in me, it was a trap. 
swear to God. I thought every single time that they were, like, plotting some machination. I've told this story on stream before. It was a Friday night. I got home from school. I'm chilling in my room listening to music. It was probably, like, Puddle of Mud or something, some old shit. And I got a call from a friend of a friend. There was a girl named uh, Angela who was really into me that did theater, right? There was a woman named Angela, or a girl at the time named Angela. I was, like, 16, 17, something like that. And her friend called me, and they were at the mall. And she was like, hey... Uh, Zach, are you docs? Hey, Coney, are you doing anything tonight? Because Angela is here, and, you know, we're all with her, and she said she'd really want to see you. And I was like, hmm, Angela's out with her friends. There are four women there, and only one of me. No thanks, harlot! And I hung up the phone. Now, I didn't say that. I just said I was busy, and I think I just went to go play, like, Guilty Gear on my Xbox. I don't know what I thought was gonna happen. She was gorgeous, too. She was very pretty. She actually... So, we did we did musical... Or, we, did, we didn't do musical theater. I didn't do musicals. But we did theater together. And she used to play guitar. And she would play acoustic guitar. And she was so talented. And she would look directly in my eyes when she did it. Like, directly at me. Singing love songs. And I was like, Cool! Wow! You're a great guitarist! You should do that professionally! Never made the connection. Never did it. It'll happen to all of you. If it hasn't already, <laughs> Cody was a harem protagonist. I have other stories. You'll have to tune into the other streams for those. I've told them before. Hey, while you're here, drop a follow. Maybe you'll hear one of those sometime. <laughs> if you're watching on YouTube, subscribe. You never know when you'll get a story time from Coneasy. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty bad. It was pretty bad. How did you get married? <laughs> Mallory was obscenely obvious. Like, like I, the way that Mal and I met, literally, the way that we met was she, she, I had never heard of her before or seen her before, and she yelled at me from like 300 feet away. She yelled my name and said I was cute. And I was like, and then we went to go get ice cream. It's very sweet. All right, sorry for the stun lock. Let's uh, let's keep it moving. It could have been anyone. I could have married anybody. It was just somebody that liked me. I used to play through games and commentate through them like in a let's play. Oh, no. Except I didn't have the proper equipment for it. Oh god. So I was just talking to myself while I played Paper Mario while pretending I was talking to an audience. Oh god. Oh, that's it. That's the end of the story. You are the youth of today. I don't think this is that bad. A lot of kids are doing this now. Um, this is Atrioc. <laughs> you think so? You think so? I don't think this is that bad. This can't be that bad, right? Hold on. Let me see. Is Atrioc on, on Discord? Let me see if I can call him in. <laughs> One second. Let me see if I can get a hold of him. I'm just calling him randomly, so he might not pick up. He's very busy. Probably playing some Paper Mario. He was in chat earlier? Oh, shit, really? Okay. <laughs> hey, Atriarch, I, wanna, I, wanna, I got a question for you if you hear this. One second. I'll ask him in chat later. Maybe we'll raid him. We'll see. All right. Uh, this isn't cringe. A lot, especially now. Dude, kids are going to do this all the time now. It's fine. Wait, so hold on. You played Paper Mario. So you were... I, I don't know how old you were. Because I was really hyped for Paper Mario, but this was before all that. I'm curious how old you were. Weird. I thought something bad was going to happen, but no, you, that's totally fine. Not a big deal. I hope you're a big streamer now. In third grade, I was eating a chocolate chip cookie and a bird shat on it, and I didn't realize and date the bird shit. <laughs> a little bit of extra protein for you, huh? Yeah, I got a little bit of seasoning on that one. Oh, boy. That's a good one. That's a quick... That's a that's a quick hitter. Just a little one-two. Chocolate chip cookie, bird shit. Bow! Knockout punch. 
Good story. Did anyone see you? I assume nobody saw you. This is a little person personal story just for you. You'll you'll go to the grave with this. And now you've told everybody here. What is it? 2300 people in here? Yeah. Everybody else here knows. But that's it. I actually have a bird poop story. I swear to God. Okay, this is very fast. I won't get stunned like I used to think that I had psychic powers like an X-Man. I swear to God this is true. I was at Ocean City in Maryland and I was at the boardwalk and I was I was I was laying on my stomach and I was looking up at the boardwalk and I saw people walking, and I saw a bird coming from this direction, and the people were coming from this direction. And I was like, wow, uh, wouldn't it be crazy if that bird pooped on those people right now? Wouldn't that be insane? And then the bird did poop on those people, and I thought I had the worst superpower ever. I thought I willed that to happen. I didn't know if I had, like, I didn't know if I, if I had uh, premonition, like if I had precognition, whatever it's called. Or if I was actually Poop Boy. I don't know if I forced it out of the bird. But I swear to God that story is true. Hand to God. Sincerely. That happened to me. I'll never forget it. What if the cookie tasted really good with the bird shit on it, right? What if, like, you were like Willy Wonka and you discovered a new flavor and then you made a bunch of cookies with bird shit in them and you never told anybody what the secret ingredient is, you know? Kind of like Sweeney Todd. <laughs> That's a musical. Fuck. <laughs> What's a, what's a fucking, Soylent Green, like Soylent Green, right? That's a classic. There you go. All right, next up. I was in middle school, and we went to my brother's high school to pick him up one day. Okay. I had to go to the bathroom really bad, and since I didn't know the layout of the place, when I had found a bathroom, it was already too late. Oh. I promptly shut myself and ran into a stall to finish. A lot of poop. I was panicking tonight. so much, and I had no clue what to do, so I did the first thing that popped into my mind. What's the first thing that pops into his mind? <laughs> you barge out of the room and tell everybody in earshot, I went poopies! Fire alarm, you think? No, I think it's got to be worse. Pick it up. Cry. Make a diaper. You take off your shirt and you make it a diaper like a sumo wrestler. And you just walk out shirtless. Okay, what happened? I was panicking so much, I took off my shitty underwear and left it on the floor of the stall. Yeah, okay. To this day, I still have no idea what happened to it. A janitor picked Love your up. content, BTW Coney. Thank you, that's very sweet of you. Um, not that bad. You? This is not that bad. Dude, this, I'm sure this happens a lot. I hear this is every woman's restroom ever. Uh, if there are any women in the chat that can confirm, hold on. Are there any, any, hold on. Any women in the chat? Can you got can you Can anyone confirm? Huh? Not not poop, but like I hear that 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 like women bathrooms are really gross, right? Anyone? My 1% female audience? That's not a thing. Okay. Every woman I've ever talked to says that women bathrooms are way worse than men's. So I just assumed that you had some underwear in there sometime. I thought they were clean. They're not. Women's bathrooms are, are disgusting. Way, I, from what I hear, they're way worse. But I don't know how you know that. Because men's bathrooms are like always wet on the floor. Always. The entire floor is, it's a fucking ice rink. Especially when you have to pee in a trough like you're at a sports game or something. Good God, I feel like a reverse pig. It's really gross. Alright, let's change it up. Uh, we'll go, we're going to hear from, uh, from Alberto here. One time when I was a kid, in some days, I was in a real thing of some story and on a kid it never met before I started speaking and it okay. I was going for a funny character voice so I get out loud for a split second, but it turned out I had a speech impediment. Oh no. Oh, no. <laughs> Hold on. That one... That, okay. That's pretty ironic. We had to put on the voice for this one. <laughs> Maybe no more Alberto. Let's go back to Ryan. Okay. Alberto, how could you? <laughs> that one's pretty bad. How old were you? You were a kid in Sunday school. A funny character voice. I'm trying to think of what the speech impediment was to have that. Maybe a stutter. 
I feel like if I met a kid with a stutter when I was a kid, I would think they were doing Porky Pig. Like, this is a Porky Pig bit. And I would have felt really bad about that. Porky Pig, yeah, yeah. I could see that. Man. that That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad, but you know, kids are kids, right? It's gonna happen. What can you do? All right, we're gonna we're gonna get off the Spanish voice. No Alberto here. During 2018, I met a girl in my chemistry class who I got to know a lot. Cool. I really liked her as a friend, and I attempted to be more relatable to her to have things to talk about. That's great. I knew she was vegan, and I wasn't, so we couldn't hang at cool restaurants or eat certain things. That's tough. Until I made the decision to become vegan myself. Oh God, you fucked up. This is bad. Uh, I don't know how this is going to go, but this is already a bad start. It's already pretty bad. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering what could the worst thing that could happen here be? I don't know any couples that did this, but I feel like it happens a lot. Shit his pants. <laughs> if if this person shits their pants, I'll 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 give 10 subs. There's no way this is another poop story. I What do you know? Wait. I dropped all forms of meat and animal products which I had loved my whole life to relate to a girl. Okay. What do you know? I was able to talk about more things with her. Oh, that's nice. We hung out more, and we could eat at the same spots. You bettered your life. Fast forward to March 2020, COVID happens. I didn't get her new number before quarantine, so I lost all form of contact with her. Wait, 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 you were... Wait, wait. You were, like, dating a girl or seeing a girl, and COVID happens, and you have no way of getting in contact with them? That just shuts off? Like, that that's the iron curtain of your life? Are you fucking kidding me? Wait, this started in 20... This can't be a real story. This said it started in 2018, and you knew them for a year and a half, and you had no way to contact them other than a phone number. That happens a lot? Are you serious? Dating is a hellscape. What the fuck? There's no way this is true. No social media at all? Fast forward to my instantly. I knew this friendship was over, so I dropped veganism and became happier than I have ever been in my life. You're just a happy guy. You get on, you become a vegan, you're happy. You get off veganism, you're happy. You're just, you don't need much. That's not cringe. You seem like a happy fella. Good for instantly. you. Instantly. Oh, that's it. That's the whole... What the fuck? Where's the cringe? Cringe? I didn't hear any cringe. I heard you... You you try... You, you did something a little weird for a girl that you liked. Which is like, okay, a little strange. But that's not too bad. It's fine. Everybody puts up a, an ideal version of themselves during dating, right? That's part of the fun of dating. Having to hack through the bullshit. Like you're going on an expedition in the rainforest. You just like... You know? Lying. Yeah, a lot of lying. Somebody says their favorite show is The Office. And you're like, ah, you don't watch a lot of TV. And you chop down that tree. And it's like, that's okay. That's okay. You know? You don't need somebody with the same cultural interests. I love... My favorite vacation spot is Orlando. And it's just like, ah, you don't travel. Disney person, right? It's just... The, the dating pool is... About reading between the lines. I get it. One day, when I was younger, probably either 8th or ninth grade, there was a girl that I really liked named Natalie. Okay. We voice called a lot, but we're both too awkward to actually ask the other out. Okay, I have not lived in a generation where people voice call. What's that like? I'm actually curious. I, I guess it's the same as phone calls, but I don't... Is it the same? It's like a phone call. I feel like it's not, though. Right? Because when your, your online identity comes into play, there's a difference to it. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, if it's a phone call, if it's a phone number, then it's just a number on the phone. If there's, like, a Discord, I have a profile picture, I might have my socials linked... I have games that I play. You get what I'm saying? It's a little different. You get sort of, you get to peer into that person's perception of both themselves and others. It's a little different. I don't know. I could see that being a little different. 
Chat, it's different. No, it's different. I, I, I hereby decree it's different. We voice called a lot. We had been talking for over a year, and everybody knew that we liked Ooh, each other. A little will One they, day, won't they? The school gave us time outside for some reason, and I was standing with a group of my and friends. And you shit your pants. A group of girls approached us, pushing Natalie towards me, and starting chanting for us to hug. Okay. You bonk heads. A group, me, being the genius I was, stood awkwardly for a couple minutes, said no thanks, and walked away. Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. Our second Sigma of the night. Honestly, bro, once again, it was a trap. And you avoided it. Actual Giga Chad in the chat. Congratulations. Is that just how it ends? Me being the. That's the end of the story. Good shit. She'll remember that for the rest of her life. You were the one that got away. She'll think, why wasn't I enough for him? What could we have been? You're on to bigger and better things. It was a witch's ritual. Yeah, if you went in for the hug, you were going to turn into a toad or something. You know what? That's not bad. That's not too bad. How old? You were ninth grade? Oh, never mind. That's fucked up. No, that... Well... If you're, like, eighth or ninth grade, that's pretty bad. But at the same time, you, like... That's going to happen to everybody once. One time. And you got it out of the way. You're good. You're good. Thanks for writing in. In between, uh, <laughs> your grinding, your passive income, your entrepreneurship. God, what a Chad. The first week of the semester of college, I met a girl who I really enjoyed hanging out with. Okay. Because I'm incredibly awkward, I... Hey, run a prediction. Does this have poop in it? Just run a prediction right now. <laughs> I'm curious. <laughs> I don't think it does, but, you know. People will cheat? How? You can't. Because I'm incredibly out. <laughs> it probably doesn't, but this is going to be a big payout if it ends with shitting their pants. I don't think it does. But, hey, you can make a lot of coins here. All in on no. It's probably not going to happen. All right, the window's about to close. Ooh, this is a long story. You guys are going to be in suspense for a while. All right. I, I would definitely say no, but we might get a fat payout here. Let's see. Because I'm incredibly awkward, I didn't know how to ask her out in person. Uh-huh. I asked for her number, talked to her for the night, and then asked, over text, if she'd be interested in going on a date. Not bad. After not hearing back, and noticing that she wasn't in class the next day, I sent her a message saying that I hoped everything was going all right and that whatever prevented her from coming to class wasn't too bad. Y were you the thing preventing her from coming to class? Was it you? Did you creep her out that bad? Oh my god, this one's bad. If she was like sick or something, or if she... Okay, this isn't... Oh god, this is bad. This might be bad. Oh, my God. IBS. <laughs> hey, if she had diarrhea, this goes to the believers. Maybe she had really bad poops. You actually might get a fat payout here. All right, what happened? I sent her a mess. She walked into class maybe two minutes after I texted her. Okay. In a different class we share, I asked if she'd like to go for a walk and talk. Okay. Because for whatever reason... I still thought I had a chance at this point. Not that bad. We walked for a bit. I tried to ask for a hug. She high-fived <laughs> me, saluted me, and walked away. She saluted you? Oh, my God. No way. Oh, Jesus. Maybe she's a really big John Cena fan. <laughs> Hustle, loyalty, respect. He was really big around that time, right? The salute is bad. Dude... That actually, I think, is worse for her than you. I actually think that's way worse for her. 
I think that's that I would I think that's worse for her. The only thing that'd be worse is giving you the finger guns, you know, like one of these. I don't think it's that bad. We walked. I received a text later that day saying she was uncomfortable being around me and to never talk to or text her again. <laughs> this story ends with a smiley face, by the way. You guys can't see it because it's on the vi it's on the thing, but there's a smiley face at the end. And that is the most passive aggressive smiley face I've ever seen in my whole fucking life. That is some copium. By the way, no poop. Doubters win. No poop. No. I mean, I, this one's good, though. This, uh, Listen, you are both cringe. You are both cringe here. I, I, Again, I don't think it's... It's so hard to read the signs in text, right? The worst they could say is no. I, I think the worst they could do is salute you. That's new on the list. I never fathomed that a woman could do that. That would hurt way more. <laughs> no thanks, soldier. <laughs> At ease. <laughs> It's not happening. She wasn't cringe? You don't think a salute is cr a Salute's cringe. Why would she do that? Dismissed. Dishonorably discharged. I don't think it's that. I, I, I think she was cringe too. She thinks about that salute. I'm positive. It's totally fine. Got a high five when you wanted the hug. It's hard to tell though. It really is. I feel like in texting, it's hard to tell if somebody's into it or not. So I can't blame you on this one. All right, change speaker. Uh, we're going to go with Mike on this one. Mike, how's it going? A few years ago, I used to really be into Five Nights at Freddy's. So in school, I would just sing the fan-made oh songs all day oh while in God. class. And oh a ton of my God. friends bugged me about how oh cringe it was, too. This God. day. Oh, my God. Living Tombstone, right? Hold on. What's the... I don't even know the songs. We live here every night. Is it that one? Is that the song? I don't know the song. This is after my time. <laughs> this was you! This is you! What a cool kid. Oh, what a cool kid. Wow. Bet you love Matt Pat too, didn't you? Big Matt... Wait, can I get DMCA for this? Oh my god, I can. Oh my god. The, uh, dude, no fucking way. It's licensed. That's a licensed song. I can't play that on the YouTube video. Get over yourself. It's fucking Five Nights at Freddy fan music. Unbelievable. I'm gonna be banned for a week for that. How dare you? That's really funny. Oh, That's so good. Fuck it. Go to the drop. God. I'm just imagining a kid singing this song. Wait, you said a few years ago. So I'm assuming that you're watching this and you've got to be like, my, my key demo is like, you know, uh, I think 18 to 24. So if you're talking a few years ago, were you 14? No. No way, right? That's too old. Oh, God. Hope you were very... 21? I God, in college? <laughs> yeah, is that what you meant by school? You're walking through the commons, singing Living Tombstone? Oh, good God. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, that one's good. That one's good. Thank you so much for writing in. That's bad. That's really bad. But, hey, every generation has their cringe, Okay. And uh, like I said about the anime guy that was singing with the with the Japanese stuff, that's just like a normal thing, right? Always gonna be weird kids. Continue playing. You're so close to the drop. Oh wait, I forgot. That's the bridge. You're right. I sing this ten years ago. Ten years ago, I was 23. I would not sing this at 23 years old. I did have a phase in middle school where I thought it'd be really cool to bring an NES zapper to school on my hip. Never told anybody that. Yep. Never told anybody that story. Not a joke. <laughs> okay, Captain N. Don't know what I was thinking. I was like 13, 12, 12, 13. It was bad. I had the zapper. I thought like gamers were cool, wicked. You know what I mean? <laughs> 
I, you, you know, I, I've i never told anybody that story. We got 2,300 people in here. Fuck it, right? That's cool. I Yeah. Yeah. I just realized you can't do that now. Schools are different. <laughs> I truly lived in the, in the best of times. <laughs> That's fucked up. All right. New story. In the sixth grade, I opened my locker, and a stereotypical love letter card fell out. Ooh, you got a secret admirer. Ooh, I bet they're cute. In the sixth grade, I opened my locker, and a stereotypical love letter card fell out. What happened? I read it, and I thought about all of the girls that could have sent it since no name was attached. Could be After anybody. It, it could be my anybody. My conclusion was that the letter was obviously meant for the guy whose locker is next oh, to mine. Oh, dude. He was taller. More muscular, etc. So that obviously meant that the girl just got the wrong locker. This is a Doug plot. This is a plot from d d fucking what iCarly. I don't know what the fuck do you people. I know Doug. I know old shows. What's what? Are, what are the shows? You, Corey in the house. What's your Nickelodeon shows? I had Keenan and Kel. What's your uh uh Drake and Josh? You had Drake and Josh, right? That's what it is. You guys were like Drake and Josh kids. Yeah, this is a Drake and Josh plot. This is like the same plot as like your house sitting for this woman that has a very valuable cockatoo. Don't let anything happen to it. And then the cockatoo dies and they have to buy a new cockatoo. That's a Keenan and Kel plot. He was taller. More money. So I went over to him while he was talking with some people and told him, they, this love letter was <laughs> oh my in my God. locker. But I'm pretty sure they got it wrong, and oh it was supposed God. to be for you. I handed it to him and left. <laughs> he thinks you're into him now. Oh my God. He thinks you're the admirer. This happened on The Simpsons, by the way. This is literally a Simpsons joke with Milhouse and Nelson. This happened. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, that's funny. But I'm pretty sh Oh, that's it. That's how the story ends. Okay. You know, that's pretty bad. Uh, I guess you never found out who the girl- Wait, did you not- uh, You did read it. To be fair, how else does that story end? Right? Because, like, if you don't know who the girl is, right? If you don't know who the girl is, then you, you wouldn't know who it is to follow up with. So I totally understand that. That's fine. Going for the uh, Spider-Man 3 with this one. It's not quite long enough. How you like it? All right. Not that bad. There is no other way for you to go. That is funny, though. <laughs> that poor guy. My girlfriend broke up with me the day. Coney, go bald. I'm not balding! I'm not fucking balding. This is the comb over because I usually put it the other way. I'm not going to go bald. I, nobody in my family has ever balded. That's never happened. You want to see the back of my head? It's like a fucking forest. See? See? I just have the Jack Nicholson hairline. You see this? I'm the fucking Joker. But it's not balding. I've asked every time I get a haircut. I am deathly afraid of it. And they say, no, you look fine. <laughs> and then I see them in the mirror go like this. <laughs> it's not a widow's peak. What? That's the widest widow's peak ever. I'm not balding. I just have a silly hairline. You look wonderful, sweetie. I'm not going to cartoon cuts. <laughs> my, my hairdresser doesn't call me sweetie. <laughs> Come on. All right. My girlfriend broke up with me the day before New Year's then thought it would be a great idea oh, to fuck. invite me to hang out with her family on New Year's. Even stranger as I said yes, I thought, well, maybe she doesn't mean it. She's inviting me over and we will patch things up. Okay, that I would think that too. I think she's keeping it open. I, th I don't think this is that bad. I think you're okay here. And she's probably trying to patch stuff up, and she's not over you, and, and this is like an olive branch. Even stranger as I said yes, okay. I thought, well, maybe she doesn't mean it. She's inviting me fair, over, and we will patch things assumption. up. Fair assumption. 
The second she came to yeah. pick me up, I tried to hug her, and she denied me. Oh, you gotta leave. You gotta turn around and leave. Uh, new year, new you. Get out of there. Oh, boy. Get the fuck out of there. She told her parents she had a boyfriend and wanted to save face. For, for what? <laughs> what is her dad like? I really hope your boyfriend shows up. He's gonna ruin my entire next year if you don't have a boyfriend. My, there goes my daughter lying about her boyfriends again. <laughs> Come on. You gotta ruin his entire year. He's not gonna enjoy the ball drop unless his daughter has a boyfriend. Come on. Even stranger as I said, at the time I didn't have a car, so I couldn't leave. Once we were out and about, oh my God. had to hang out with her for seven oh. hours after that very cringe time. Uh, okay, you know what? She denied you for a hug. That's on her, actually. That's on her for denying you. She knew that she was going to have seven hours of cringe. Although, good on her for letting her expectations known immediately. Like, do not get any feelings, actually. I've changed my mind. Never mind. This is cringe. Why invite? That's a better question. <laughs> I th that's a little... Uh, that is a bit... That is a bit silly, I suppose. Okay. All right. We've got a couple more stories. I'm going to go up to 35, I think. And we're currently at 32. We have 44 on this list. So these will be more for later. How you guys like Cringe Confessional, by the way? This is fun. I'm having a very good time. I love this. I'm, I, I'm really enjoying this. This is a good time. <laughs> Big fan? All right, I'm glad to hear it. I, this is good. I like this. Sub gold to do all 44? Ooh, that's a good idea. Yeah, we're at 32. All right, how about this? If we hit 2,800 by the end, well, how do I sub goal it? I'll go to 30. I'll go to... Hmm. I'll go to 36. <laughs> how is this going to work? I can't do this. I don't know how to, cause I how do I how do I dangle the carrot, right? All right, if we could get to twenty eight hundred, I'll finish off. Okay. Uh, I haven't asked for primes all night. Hey guys, if you got a prime, just check below the stream. Okay. I'm not gonna ask again. Just check below the stream. Drop a prime. I would really appreciate it. Thank you. It's free. You don't need to have to pay to do it. Check it out. Thank you, everybody. All right. Oh, these are long ones. Oh, that's good. That's good. All right. Here we go. Holy shit. Thank you guys for the subs. Oh, they're all coming in. Thank you guys so much. All right, back to the stories. You know how when you miss school, you need a pass signed by your parents? Did I change the speaker? Who the fuck is this? This old ass? When was the last time he was in school? Good Lord. Oh, my God. You know how when you miss school, you need a pass signed by your parents? My dad would always refuse to write it, and always told me just to forge it. Based. One time I went to the dentist and made my dad write me a pass. He begrudgingly wrote it for me, okay. and I turned it in, paying no attention to it. Uh -huh. Later that day he asked if I read it. I said no. He told me that it said that I was out getting penis enlargement surgery. <laughs> Your dad's weird. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> how old were you? This It depends on how old you were. If he was telling you to forge it, I'm assuming you're in high school, in which case it's fine. Right? That's a funny thing. That's an American Pie plot. That's fine. Let's say that you're like 17. Then that's funny. <laughs> that's pretty good. Later that day, I, knowing my dad believe him while everyone else in my life thought he was lying. Oh. The next week, I missed a day of school oh, no. and made him write a pass again. It this going. time he told me to read it beforehand, and I did. <laughs> my son was late due to a doctor's appointment for correcting his botched circums. Hold on, hold on, I'm getting a call. Big A, how's it going? Oh, Big C, what's up, you What's called? good, yeah, I'm streaming currently. Uh, listen, you ever play Mario Party? Actually, no, I just wanted to confirm something because oh, I yeah. tuned in for earlier and it seemed like 
you were confessing to have pooped yourself? No, I didn't do that. I didn't do that. No, 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 no. I didn't do that. I didn't poop myself. So that wasn't no, no, you, no. okay? That wasn't me. That wasn't everyone me. Everyone was saying poop boy, and it no, was like, it was no, yeah, that's to me because... no, that's really funny that they did that, but it was about somebody else. <laughs> oh, okay. It was about somebody else. Yeah. Okay. Cool. No, it was I... very confusing. You can understand, right? Anyone that coming in at that moment would be thinking, "Oh my god, this yeah. guy's a poop boy. This guy's yeah. gotta be a poop boy." Like, yeah, and he and... must have done something to deserve that. Yeah, and I told a lot of those stories. There were yeah. like four or five of them uh, about poop, so I get I get why the correlation yeah. would be there. But hey, uh, I heard a story about a kid uh, that sat alone in their room for hours at a time playing Paper Mario and pretending to Let's Play. My chat has it on good authority. That was you. Uh, can you confirm or deny? <laughs> you big Paper deny. Mario guy? I can. I am not a paper. I'm no? the opposite of Paper Mario guy, Coney. I hate okay. Paper Mario. Ah, I hate okay. it. I don't like it. I don't want to play it. I keep I asked to play it. Uh, Have you ever had a game with your stream where people will beg you to play it or do it? Or oh, fuck thing? yeah. And then when, then when you actually do it, though, no one's there. <laughs> I won't do it. That's why they're trying to get me to play fucking... That's, they're trying to get me to play Danganronpa. I'm like, that. that's viewer yeah, yeah, poison. Like <laughs> what the fuck? That's a visual novel about anime that's like 60 hours long. What the fuck is your problem? There's like four people that'll enjoy it. Everyone else will just fucking tune the fuck out. It's fetish that's porn. That's literally It's Mario. Twitch that's fetish porn. I, I would rather shit... I would rather be Poop Boy. I'd rather join you in the Poop Boy <laughs> club and shit myself on stream than fucking play with Mario. It's not... No one... Wa I've tried it like three times. No. For three years straight. They it's beg too and long. beg and beg. Dude, no, shitting your pants on stream is viewers, too. Because you'll be top of LSF, like, you know. I, yeah, I mean, it, that's a long-term play. That's smart. It's a better idea. Listen, all right, well, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that you weren't the Paper Mario guy, yeah. but I'm going to find out which story of these are yours, because I know you're in okay, here somewhere. Okay, yeah, I, of course I submit. I mean, Absolutely. obviously, I see, I see this, this Absolutely. content. I got to get involved. All right, well, if you find mine, let me know. But otherwise, you have a good one, brother. You got it, brother. Take care. See you. Love that guy. <laughs> oh, this is him, by the way. This is definitely him, right? Is he cut? Does anybody know if he's cut? Is he cut? Can somebody go into his chat right now? <laughs> Check out. Is this is this him right here? <laughs> Hope he's okay. Yeah, I'm his mod. This is him. There it is. Straight from the horse's mouth. Perfect. No, but he's hung. How do we know that? Where is that coming from? Oh, my God. Thank you for the 10 gifted. Thank you, Slamwich. His dad would do that. I had to think about his dad. There he is in chat. All right, there he is. Your dad would do this, right? Yeah. Okay, okay. I get it. Sure. All right, so. All right, let's continue the story. My son was late due to a doctor's appointment for correcting his botched circumcision. Dad's got a lot of dick jokes. Dad got the enlargement surgery joke and the botched circumcision. Dad's obsessed with the pee pee. The fuck is going... I get, do you have to get it cut to enlarge it? Probably. Because there's only so much foreskin. My son, two periods later, I get called out of a math test and into the principal's <laughs> oh, office. Oh, God. Took him a they while to read that, They huh? wrote these to prank the school, which I obviously did not. Oh, no. We ended up calling my dad, who they integrated. <laughs> integrated? That's why he did this in word for word, he said. Ma'am, my son's penis is fucking hilarious. My mom did not talk to him for a week. Link below for proof. Proof? Bro. <laughs> she knew who she married. That's unbelievable. What a fucking king. Your dad sounds like the dad in, like, American Pie. This is a teen comedy plot. Hold on, I have the, uh, the, the, the imager? Imager? I don't know how to say it. The, the link right here. Hold on. 5, 16, 18. Oh my god. Oh, you guys got ads? Oh, oh, wait, wrong scene. Oh, that's so tough. That's so tough. Oh, no. Only way to get... Why am I talking to them? Guys, let them know to add. Pop the pot friends. Pot friends, tell them how to avoid the ads. You know what to do. Pot friends, help them out. Subscribe to avoid ads. All right, check this out. Exclusive sub-only content. Was late to school uh, today due to doctor's appointment for correcting his botched circ... Your dad has funny handwriting. This guy's a jokester. Your dad's a fucking comic. I can tell. That's funny. <laughs> That's 
pretty good. That's pretty good. <laughs> we hit the goal. We're going to finish it off then. Uh, so there are 42 stories tonight. We hit the goal. Thank you guys for being so generous. Big thanks to Slamwich who gave 10 gifted. Some Yeast gave 2. Uh, Stinky Ghost gave 5. Thank you. Everybody else only gave 1s, which is fine. You know, it's kind of embarrassing that you don't have more money to give to me. But, you know, I'll take the primes and the tier 1s. Thank you guys very much. All right, we're going to go to 42. So we got 10 more stories here. Uh, guys, really quick. Um, before we continue, if you're enjoying the segment and you want to write in, like I said, this is all 100% anonymous, go ahead, go to cringe.coney.gg. You can see the link. This is all 100% anonymous. Ignore the email. That's not my email. I don't know whose that is. That's just, uh, I guess that's the owner of Google's. It's on every form for some reason. So you can write in right here. Make it as long as you want. Please write in. And maybe your story will be featured. Don't point it out. I mean, it's right there on the fucking screen. Come on. All right, we got a couple more stories. Let's go. Funny Dead. Okay. Let's get it popping. Let's change up the speaker on this one. We're going to, uh, let's go to my boy... Hmm. Going back to Will. Go back to Will for this. I've been single for nearly all my life. Okay. What few sparks of hope I had were doused rather swiftly. Oh, this one's So sad. around a year ago, I decided to step out of my comfort zone Hell a little yeah. more. Good. self improvement. So I tried Tinder. About a month of looking and swiping, I got no matches. Oh, God, you're ugly. I was curious if you had to purchase the subscription in order to see if anyone liked your profile, oh, no. which would make sense from a business perspective. Sure. I, uh, no, I get it. I get it. You thought that you had to pay to get matches. I mean, honestly, not a bad assumption to make. If I if I made that app, I would do the same thing. Have to pay me to find out if people like you. Wasn't there a site that did, was that plenty of fish that would they they would have like women bots and they would send you messages and they'd be like, "Hey, do you want to open this? Five ninety nine. What a way to make money. Holy God. I was curious if you... But I'm not one to spend money so haphazardly, so I refrain. Okay. Hoping to eventually find a match to not make me feel awful unattractive. Good luck. I'd say another week or so passed and I finally got a match. Please don't be a bot. A very attractive girl with a simple profile. Oh, no. So I sent a simple hello message. Oh, no, it's a bot. I was excited for a new opportunity with someone and You're was building curious this up if so I would much. get a response. Oh, no. The notification that I got a message back filled oh me God. with the most hope I've felt in a long while. Listen, you're definitely ugly, but you are a phenomenal storyteller. You should become a director now. You're the next Steven Spielberg. The way that you're writing this story is enrapturing. Please. You have so much talent. You could be a fucking billionaire. And then women will talk to you. I promise. <laughs> the notification Holy that shit. I got. I checked the message and it wrote... Hey, oh. make sure to check out my new movie coming out this weekend. I got baited. The profile was just the main actress's <laughs> ad account. Oh I have yet to get a single like. I still don't even know if you need the subscription. <laughs> he was like... He saw Gal Gadot. Oh my god, she's beautiful. Oh, what a gorgeous woman. Gal likes me? Wow. <laughs> oh, my God. That's amazing. It was Jared Leto. Be sure to check out my new movie, Suicide Squad, in theaters this weekend. Oh my god, what a fucking story. This is the this is the story of the night, truly. God bless you whoever submitted this. This is amazing. Oh my god. Where's the Coney ad account? Can Oh dude, I need to do that. Get on Tinder. Interested in anyone. <laughs> oh my god. 
I'm interested in anybody. And people are going to see my Tinder account and be like, is Coney bisexual? It's like, no, I, I'm just trying to expand my audience. Just trying to get new viewers. Hard to grow on Twitch. No discoverability. Lots more discoverability on Tinder. <laughs> hey, listen, the YouTube algo isn't hitting. You know, I'm kind of struggling out here. I, you got to do something. <laughs> be sure to check out React Wars this weekend. <laughs> Holy shit, that's funny. Looking for content. Good, good story. Excellent story. Listen, you are a great storyteller, and you will find the one. I promise. Just might take a little while. <laughs> Maybe a couple blind dates. All right. Junior year of high school, I had the biggest crush on this musical theater girl. Okay. I was more into the improv part of theater and the production side of things. Oh, an improv kid. Ugh. I'm wearing a hat. Hate that. Hate that. Oh, you're gross. Uh-oh, we're in the Sahara Desert. What will we do? <laughs> this is not a Coney story. I would never in my fucking life be an improv kid. I'm not yes and. I'm no stop. Fuck improv. I'm a theater kid. Like a classic theater kid. Not musicals. Tennessee Williams, Arthur Miller, t fucking Cat on a Hot Tin Roof. Death of a Salesman. Give me the fucking classics. The human condition. Don't give me this fucking improv. I'm, 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 I'm a cat. Meow. I'm a silly cat that walks backwards. I fucking hate improv, dude. It's awful. I love improv. You're simple-minded. <laughs> it does look like he's in the desert. <laughs> Stupid. Meow. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, this is cringe enough. Uh, please continue. I was more into the improv part of theater and the production side of things. Okay. I wanted to ask... Bro, I will say, but I know I'm getting stunlocked. I did do theater in high school. The production kids were the weirdest. They were the kids that were all black. You know, they were the... Death of a Salesman sucks. Kick, kick that guy the fuck out. Get that guy the fuck out of my chat. No, the, uh, the, the production kids wore all black uh, all the time. Literally at all times. Um, Death of a Chat member... <laughs> The production kids wore all black all the time. Uh, had they were just like I don't know. They only hung out with each other in the back of the of, in the back of the theater. Like I don't know, spinning bla Beyblades or something. I don't know what they were doing. Probably smoking weed, doing some weed, something they shouldn't be doing, considering they have to like move large pieces of the set. I don't know. I didn't, the production kids were always so weird. <laughs> Stand aside. Jeremy, <laughs> while I take the stage. Stupid. Okay, sorry. I didn't mean to interrupt. I wanted to ask this girl to prom, and I only knew she loved Hamilton the musical. <laughs> Did you rap I it? I forced myself to it? listen to the whole thing and ended up writing oh this God. whole romantic oh my God, you wrote a rap. letter addressed you wrote to her a that oh, was no Hamilton way. theme. No way! It was so incredibly no cringe. No way! I saw the movie. I have the honor to be your faithful servant. Oh, no. Thing from the musical. Oh, no. The plan was to ask if she was oh, free the no. day of prom and then hand her the letter. You didn't give it to her. I right? was sweating bullets and finally get the courage to confront her and I ask, "Are you free Please on April 23rd?" Please tell me she never saw that letter. Please say she never saw that letter. Day it oh my was. god. I didn't ask if she was going to prom. I just asked the specific date. Okay. She said it was one of her friend's birthdays, oh and I god. just said, oh, okay, oh, and left holding averted. the letter. Oh my god. I spent days writing this thing in cursive, <laughs> and perfecting the subtle nods to the musical, and nobody has ever seen it. Send I still got it, and it's it, so unbelievably cringe. Send it to me now. I will give you my address. I don't care if you dox me. I have something very valuable of your... Like, this is mutual as shared destruction. All right? We both have secrets on each other. Because I'm going to know who sent it. So you send it to my address, and we're both going to know each other's address, and we will enter a cold war for 500 years. <laughs> I will not reveal what I know if you don't reveal what you know. 
please, for the love of God, please send me this letter. I will wrap it on stream. I will. I'll do it. Swear to God. Hand to God, I'll do it. I will perform it. We will enter a, 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 a cold standoff. I'll even do it like Lin-Manuel. Yo, I hope you're going to prom. We'd love to go with your mom. <laughs> I'm not an improv kid. I'm not an improv kid. I can't freestyle. I can't freestyle. It's <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I can think of that rhymed with prom. I can't do improv. I need the letter. I can't. I need a script. I need a script. Bro, I would love the chance to do a Lim Manuel impression, please. I saw you across the room in chemistry. I thought we had a lot of chemistry. I love to go to prom with you and and <laughs> wrap myself into a corner. <laughs> what the fuck rhymes with chemistry? And dance. <laughs> do a lot of dancing. Oh, all right. That's good. That's funny. I was going to say hemisphere, like, but then I said chemistry, so it wasn't like, yeah. Anyway, I can't, I told you I can't improv. Uh, great, great story. Fantastic story. I'm not, God, I don't want you to reveal who you are because I think that's part of the magic. But if you could anonymously, oh, how about this? Send me the note. Like, you could just send me anonymously just through the imager. Just take pictures, please. That'd be great. Coney sounds like Morty? No, that's that's Lin Manuel Miranda rapping. That's what he does. Sounds like a whiny kid. All right. Good story. I used to have an aversion to swallowing my own spit, that sucks. which often resulted in me having a mouthful of spit until I could spit it out somewhere. <laughs> what the fuck? You rolled the worst perk imaginable. Oh my god. If I got you in a creative character, I would swiftly pass over you. Holy fucking shit. You can't swallow your own spit? That's so inconvenient. How do you go to the movies? You need a second cup. Oh my god. I used to have... One time I was walking through the hallway okay. at my school and a cute girl told me she liked my shirt. I tried to say thanks but forgot I had a mouthful of spit and instead just spit vomited all over the shirt she just complimented. I still think about it every night. Okay, you remember how earlier I said I thought I had magic powers because I made the bird shit? If I was that girl, I would think I was a menace. I would think something I said made you project- I would think I was the grossest girl in the school. I made you projectile vomit. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh my god. He's spitting spit everywhere. Oh my god, dude. Oh, I, how many people do you think right now are walking around with just a mouthful of spit waiting to unleash? Like a fucking dinosaur. The glands are just full to the brim. Full to burst. Oh, one guy. There's one guy on the planet. Just this person. Isn't that terrifying? What if you run into him? Oh my god. Every day is the lottery. That you hope you don't int run into the guy that's gonna spit all over you. And every day you've passed, it's a good reason to get out of bed each day. Holy shit. <laughs> All she said was, nice shirt. <laughs> hey, nice shirt. <laughs> That's literally early South Park. That's just Stan and Wendy. 
All right, let's change it up a little bit. Uh, let's go to Karen. All right, Karen, what's up? Forgive me, stream father, for I have sinned. Can't be worse than the other guys. Forgive. I was at a college party and mildly inebriated, as you'd expect. Sure. The party was at a student co-op on campus, and I was there with some buddies and roommates. Okay. As the party progressed and more liquids were imbibed, I of course had to go to the bathroom. Gotta go pee pee, sure. The bathroom was an under the stairs type deal, and particularly cramped as a result. Oh hell no, you get in the Harry Potter bedroom. Oh no. Is it a poop story? You think it's a poop story? No. No, they said they were drinking. It's a pee story. This is a pee story. <laughs> Do prediction pee or poop? A Harry Potter shit? Excremento! <laughs> That's funny. The bathroom was an under the... St I took a leak and had to bend over a little bit more than usual to flush on account of the low ceiling. Okay. Only for the pack of cigarettes I had in my breast pocket to fall into the mildly pissed in toilet bowl. Not that bad. I'm usually pretty easily grossed out, and yet for some reason, be it the alcohol or just me acting before thinking, uh -huh. I fish the piss cigs out of the toilet. The cigarettes are dead anyway. It's not like a phone. Like, are you gonna smoke them? What the fuck? I'm usually- I made sure to wash both the pack and my hands as thoroughly as possible. Oh wait, they're- they're in a little boat though. Wait a minute. No, the cigarettes are in a nice little boat. They're fine. He can still use them. They're also covered in piss. Well, I mean, I'm saying they're in the box. They're probably floating. Right? That's not that bad. Just buy more? Dude, those are expensive. You know how expensive cigarettes are? No way. I made sure to wash both the pack and my hands as thoroughly as possible, sure. and rationalized that the cigarettes themselves were probably urine-free. Yeah, I guess! Throughout the course of the night, that pack got smoked in its entirety <laughs> by myself and various other clueless party-goers, hey, you know including my roommates. You know what, though? It was pretty funny at the time, but come morning and sobriety, I had to grapple with the existential dread that came from the fact that every time you know, I would see the people I literally live with, not that bad. I could only imagine them with my piss cigs in their mouths. Listen, not that bad. It's, it, it is bad, but it's not that bad. What they do not know will not hurt them. Yeah, I wouldn't care, said someone in the chat. I I don't know about that. <laughs> I think I would care, but I don't think I would know, right? Nobody, like, nobody put it to their lips and was like, wow, this is, this is pee. <laughs> is somebody piss on this cigarette? That's not so bad. That's fine. I've fished my phone out of the toilet but before any activity happened. I think everybody's done that. Be honest. Be honest, chat. How many of you guys have fished your phone out of, the, out of the toilet after some activity? You're not anonymous in chat. No, 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 yes, no, no, no. You guys never do that? Sometimes I'll be like, I'll, I'm about to go to the bathroom, and I'm like looking at my phone, and then it just fall, falls. It's not very often. It's a very rare event. This is like once every five years. <laughs> Oh, that's what it is. You guys are younger than me. It will happen to you. This happens to me once every five years. So, when when you guys get older, it will happen. <laughs> no, because I am not a bumbling fool. I'm like a Mr. Bean character. <laughs> go, go, go. Drain the lizard. Oh, dear. <laughs> Crikey. That's Australian. Blimey. That's funny. All right. Next movie. I started my YouTube channel as a middle schooler, and I tried to get popular. Not bad so far. As a birthday gift, I bought two giant boxes of business cards with Aww. my channel on it. I passed them out all around school. Aww. I found multiple ripped up throughout the week. Oh my god! I think I ended up losing subscribers. No! You posted cringe! No! You lost subscriber! No! Number go down! Dude, this is cute. This is so cute. If a kid gave me a business card with his with with his YouTube channel on it, I would subscribe. Good for them. Dude, what if they became Mr. You could have been Mr. Beast. You don't know unless you try. Right? I feel like you you, you have to try it. Cuz this story could go the other way. Or you could still be Mr. Beast. Maybe you're still YouTubing. I don't know. 
This isn't that bad. It's not that bad. Dude probably made <laughs> plush stories. I've Dude, I stumbled upon those on YouTube like a few years ago. Those are popular. What the fuck? It's insane. Okay. Ah, oh, damn, I never posted uh, a community post to YouTube about tonight. That's tough. All right, next time, next time. We're definitely doing this again. This is fun. <laughs> hey, remember, write in at cringe.coney.gg. Uh, in the time that I've been streaming, we got another 200 and... Hold on. This is what I started at tonight. And right now we're at 890. So we got two, uh, 891. Somebody just posted. Oh, my God. So we're getting more. So yeah, we've got we've got stories for years. Check it out! Exclamation points! Cringe in the chat to see the link. Go ahead. Yeah, we're we're definitely gonna do this again. Oh, sick! All right, uh, got a couple more. Oh my god, guys! The first sentence of this is going to paint a very dire picture. It was middle school, and my class was visiting the Holocaust Museum on a school trip. Oh, God. Am I allowed to do this? <laughs> uh... <laughs> All right. <laughs> hey, Vince put it in here. So, if my career is over by the end of this, just know it was Vince's fault. You're fine, Clueless. Okay. It was middle school, go. <laughs> and if you've never been to the Holocaust Museum, you should know it's dead silent in there. I have been. Like nobody ever makes a peep. Right, there's a lot of reverence. Because, you know, the Holocaust. Right. We get ourselves happen. into the museum. It was like 2 p.m., and we're all super quiet. Chat saying fart, fart, fart. It's not a fart story. It's not a poop story. It can't be. Too we obvious. get ourselves into the museum. It was like 2 p.m. It's too obvious. And we were all super this quiet. This guy didn't rip one in the Holocaust You could hear museum. a pin drop. There is this one section talking about the concentration camps. Don't make camps, a gas joke. Right? Don't make a gas and joke. And the floor is like granite or marble or some really nice flooring material. Okay. And as my class moves on to the nice stone floor, uh, I'm the only one whose shoes squeak. I mean, come on. And it's not like a quiet squeak. <laughs> It's a whole scree, 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 scree every time I take a step. Okay, wait a minute. I, I thought I thought it was just one noise, but no. As you're walking through, it's like, uh, 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 uh. oh, that is bad. No, that is. Everybody's saying it's not that bad. No, it is bad. That's really bad. You gotta take off your shoes. It's a whole Have and some my respect. friend goes, this bitch walking like Squidward tentacles. Except it came out way loud and half the people around us laugh really nervously and the other half look all scandalized like, how dare you disturb the memorial for these oppressed people. And I could feel the museum worker's eyes just drilling holes into my skull. I was gonna fucking die. Anyway, that's my Joker origin story. Also, here is the Squidward walking sound for context. <laughs> oh, I, oh, I know it. I, I, I know the sound. <laughs> All right, everybody. Please follow me through the Holocaust Museum. Right this way. Ah, yes. The worst tragedy of our time. Millions dead all over the world and an entire people sent to live in fear. <laughs> oh my god. Holy shit. That's incredible. Oh, oh god, man. That rules. Excellent story. <laughs> Kids are funny, dude. Kids are funny. Yeah, whoever said that Squidward ten Tentacles thing made it way worse, but that rules. I don't, I would have to laugh at it, too. But, oh, God, that's good. That's so good. 
When I was in fifth grade, I performed in the end of the year talent show. Okay. I got on stage and got three lines into the song I was performing and forgot the lyrics completely. Oh no. I ran off the stage in shame. I then begged my teacher to perform again oh. and she let me. Uh -huh. I forgot the lyrics at the exact same spot oh, and cried. No. Oh. Oh, that's so sad. You were 10. Maybe the performing arts aren't for you. Maybe you should learn how money works. Become an accountant or something. The stage is not for everyone. You need a certain level of talent. Oh, that poor kid. That's sad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I feel this happens all the time, though. Dude, when I'm... When when my daughter starts going into talent shows and stuff, I am not looking forward to it. Whoa! I am looking forward to that, though. Thanks for the 10 gifties, Turbo Snail. Mm -hmm. Love to eat it. Give me the money. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Big gifties in the chat. Big thank you. Hey! Any primes? Any big primes? You might have a prime. Check below the stream. It's free. Could drop me something. More primes means I'm more likely to do this again. I'm just saying. We might be able to do another one. I don't know. Greedy ass, uh, well, I, you know, what a, it takes a lot to do this, okay? How, how easy do you think it is to do this? I gotta, like, put on a shirt, I had to tie this tie, that took me, like, 45 minutes. Content is not easy. And neither is being on stage, clearly. I mean, this, this fifth grader couldn't do it, right? What if I forgot my lines as I'm, <laughs> as I'm streaming? I'm just, I'm just here, I'm, d uh, I've, uh, what am I doing? Right? That would be embarrassing. All right. Good story. Not bad. Gimmer? Yeah, Gimmer forgot the tech. <laughs> uh, uh, the, the Gimmer tech that's going to change the game is uh, fucking... Uh, oh, uh, like a... Uh, like a footstool. Uh, uh. <laughs> All right. When I was in 8th grade, I was very pretentious about how smart I was. We all were. Towards the end of the year, we held a bracketed tournament in class. For what? And whoever solved a math problem faster than your opponent moved on. Oh, God. I made it all the way to the finals and lost to get second place. Okay, not bad. Respectable. I was devastated, and afterwards I got a bathroom pass and cried inside the stall. Oh. And to top it all off, while I was crying... I read fan fiction from cartoons I oh watched my at the God. time to calm myself oh, down. No. Trust me when I say I no longer care about math nor cartoon fan fictions. Oh, this one's so bad. This is pure and and unrefined cringe because nobody else knows this story except you. No, well they might know you. Like if you came out of the bathroom with your eyes still red, they might. But this is just something you could have taken to your grave, but you wrote in. Oh, there's nothing funny about this. That's tough. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry. Uh, bullying is okay sometimes. Yeah, actually, this isn't your fault. Some kid should have beat you up. It's honestly the school's problem because some kid should have beat you up by now and taught you this, this wasn't cool. And then you would know and you wouldn't have done this. Society has failed you. <laughs> All of these kids are getting left behind. That's so sad. I got bullied in, in middle school. I was getting my stuff out of my locker one day, and my bully's name was Derek. And uh, my locker, I opened up the door, and it smelled like raw fish. Like somebody put a, a fucking salmon in my locker, like a tuna. And I open it up, I'm like, oh my god, not this shit again. And Derek comes up behind me and like basically puts his head on my shoulder. He's like, what's wrong, Cody? What happened? What's going on today? What's that smell? Hoo-wee! What a stink! Fucking hate Derek, bro. Guy's an asshole. I know he did that. I know he did that. If he didn't, then what if that was a bonding moment? He was trying to, like, look out for me. I don't know. Why is he... Was he, like, Randy from Doug? Randy? Do you mean... What was his name? Roger! God, we were both stupid. I knew it was an R. Holy shit. We were both wrong there. Oh my god, I got stunned. I was trying to go back into my catalog of 90s 
Nickelodeon trivia. Jesus Christ, I've never messed that up. I'm gonna die. When I was 13, I snuck out in the middle of the night see me my then boyfriend at the time. Okay. He had some friends over and one of them brought the devil's lettuce and Ooh, we all including it up. decided to get high. And Little that's when my ex-boyfriend get the bright idea to a few streets down and steal. Some poor resistance dog so we all high as hell went over and just stole the dog. What the fuck? You stole a dog? You stole someone's dog? How high were all of you? I can see if one person's high enough to do this, none of you objected? Oh my god! Some poor res- My ex kept it and to this day still has her. Oh my god! Are you serious? Now. To the guy or girl missing your dog, I'm sorry. But oh you're not god! getting her back anymore. No She's way! in jail now. You stole a dog and kept it? Oh my god! Dude, that's fucking brutal! That's sadistic! I would have killed you. I feel like it's my obligation to hand over your information to the police now. You better hope you're within the you're out of the statute of limitations. I'm going to find your IP. Are you fucking kidding me? This is a literal crime with a living thing. Oh my god. Is the dog happy? The dog's got well, I guess it has to be. The dog has Stockholm syndrome now. Dude, that's not cringe. You just stole something. That be oh my god. This is an ad for NordVPN. What? <laughs> oh, I see. I see where your angle is. Okay. I I literally I dude, I don't see anything. When I say that this is 100% anonymous, I mean it. I can't see anything except the story. True. God. You were 13, and you still have the dog. Well, the ex has it. You should out your ex. How bad was the breakup? Have them go down, right? I mean, you were, you were, you'll, you'll get less time for it, right? If you snitch, go for it. They smoked weed at 13 and stole a dog. <laughs> Coney, you are now in legal obligation to turn the confession in. Uh, nope, it was a joke, actually. They wrote at the end of this, I was just kidding. You guys can't see it, but it does say that. So, actually, it didn't happen. <laughs> Funny story. Thanks for writing in. When I was in kindergarten, I started to really like this girl. Okay. Every time I'd move school, she'd still be there up until 8th grade. Wow. Okay. We were good friends the entire time, and we'd done a lot of group projects together. Sure. In 8th grade, she calls me one day and says she has something important to tell me. Oh, God. I hang up the phone as I heard what I thought was oh, someone laughing. No, the no, next day was no. our last of the year, so everyone went out for pizza. No. And she was really mad at me and wouldn't talk to me the entire oh, time. Oh, my God. Months later, I lose a bet and I have to message her, which I do. Then she calls me and has her boyfriend tell me off. Wait, that's it? That's the whole thing? Okay, so you were soul-linked with this girl since you were in kindergarten. You were- you could have been together forever. And you fucked up one time because you thought it was a trap. No resolution here. Yeah, this is just a, a bad ending. You got the bad end. That's crazy. Dude. This is another one of those stories. When you are that age, you really feel like every interest from a woman is a trap. You think it's a scheme. Good God. Why is your chat so oblivious? Are you not? Huh? Check out the Giga Chat in the chat. Never messes up an opportunity to sleep with someone. Wow, look at this guy. All high and mighty. Slam pussy every day. No, that... I, listen, that's been me. This has happened to all of us. Does that feeling ever go away? Yes. <laughs> yes. Since I, I mean, I, I would assume so. Dude, when you get as old as I am, it, you don't waste time. You're just like, hey, this is me. I'm a little weird. Are, what's up? Are we cool? And they're like, yeah or no. And I was like, okay. All right, sure. That's it. Now, to be fair, I, I have been with the same woman for nearly 17 years. So maybe I'm just talking out of my ass.
Haven't been in the dating pool for quite a while. Uh, but as you get older, I will say, it. Get, th this is not a flex or a pog. I'm saying that I probably, I'm talking shit and I don't know how to date. <laughs> I probably just, uh, hi, I'm streamer. <laughs> I play video games on the internet. Uh, kind of cool. I'd be like that one TikTok guy. That's like, this is every Twitch streamer at a party. My wife, true, my wife. Wife posting. I'm Chance now. I have a sly whistle, yeah. No, I just, I, I, you know, I, I feel like it does go away. The best thing you can do is just stop caring so fucking much. Is fine. Especially if you're not in school. I think school makes it worse because you're stuck with these people for a long time. If you're out of school or like in college, who gives a fuck? Who cares? You're never going to see these people again. Whatever. You're fine. Kony, you don't even play video games anymore. That's even worse. I'm like, yeah, I have reactive videos on the internet. Because whenever I play a video game, everybody stops watching. <laughs> I wish... I, I want people to watch me play video games, but instead I watch basketball highlights. For money. <laughs> Why don't they watch you play video games? People watch Jerma play video games. You know who Jerma is? Oh. You guess you're not the one. Alright, uh, a couple more stories. All right, here we go. <laughs> All right, here we go, here we go. Slight backstory. Sure. I, as a kid, I asked what a hickey was. Another hickey adults story. told me it was another name for a bruise. Wow. I completely bought it and stored it in my mind for later. Okay. So fast forward to around third grade. We were asked to write a small essay about an injury we received for show and tell. Okay. And I went first so excited to oh, share no. my story. Oh, my God. Oh, no. This could go so bad. This teacher has an obligation to protect you. So fast forward to around third grade, we were asked to write a small essay about an injury we received for show and tell, and I went first so excited oh, to share no. my story. My story was called, My First Hickey, ah! and the teacher immediately told me to stop but I was so excited to share it I begged and the teacher told me to go ahead but Why? was so prepared to stop me at the first sign of something via D. Okay, that teacher fucked up. Why would that teacher be like, oh I guess, let's hear him out. This third grade kid got a hickey? Why not? Who knows? Our teachers are not paid enough. Our institutions are failing. Oh, good lord. The <laughs> teacher clueless on second thought. Honestly, dude, if I was... It was the report whoever gave them the hickey, probably. If I was the teacher, depending on how the day went, like, you know, some teachers, like, roll out the TV, right? We, I don't feel like doing anything today. I'm like, fuck it. Tell me the story. This is probably a misunderstanding. This kid's stupid. And the teacher immediately told me. Okay. So my story was about the time I fell off a bike and got sure. a bruise. Oh, no okay. Deal. Got it. Got it. That's but fine. I was telling everyone my bruise was a hickey without knowing what it okay, meant. Okay, that could have been worse. The class laughed okay. every time I said hickey. And when it was over, the teacher <laughs> was in tears laughing, which was weird That is me. funny. Okay. Why was this story about an injury so funny? That's pretty funny. Half the class was laughing. Okay. The teacher was laughing and went to get the teacher in the room next to us and they both laughed. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. This turned into could have been really bad to not bad to really bad. You got both teachers laughing at you now and the whole school is seeing it. Oh no, the entire class is seeing this now. Oh, multiple classes too. Because like that teacher has to be like, hey kids, I have to pause my class. This other teacher is calling me in. And you know she's going to spread the story. It's going viral. Got the whole school laughing. Oh, man. This is a viral story now. Oh. Half the class was laughing. I did not ask why. I just took Maya and sat down embarrassed but confused. You got an A, though. I did not know the difference until I was a few years older. Wait a minute. I still feel embarrassed from it, and I'm 31 hey, now. Hey, bro, still got the A. We aced it. Not bad. Hey, it's a W. It's a W either way. That's my fucking guy. Dude, the entire... You got the whole class I canting. That's incredible. Holy shit, what a good story. 
That could have gone way worse. I, I thought it was going to be way worse than that. Seriously. The fact that it was not is is truly shocking. So, unbelievable. Okay. <laughs> that one that one very easily could have gone off the rails. Sincerely. But we did pretty good. Oh. Good story. All right, guys. Unfortunately, that's going to be the end of Cringe Confessional for tonight. Truly hope you all enjoyed it. Oh, God. What? Okay, it went away. Thank you guys for tuning in. If you guys liked it, I know. We're done with the stories. We're done with people writing in. Hey, if you enjoyed it, drop a, drop a Drake in the chat, please. And if you want more than that, drop a Prime, please. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I'm sure this will be back. We had a terrific time. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Everybody say thank you to CringeBot. I should have prepared this. CringeBot, do you have anything to say to the chat? Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. Why is it over there? See you next time. CringeBot, oh, you old rascal. We'll see you next time on Cringe Confessional. Remember to write in cringe.cody.gg. And who knows, maybe your story will be featured next time. We'll see you next time. Remember to subscribe. Goodbye. Bye, everybody. Oh. Fun segment. Good time. Oh, that was good. That was a lot of fun. I like that one a lot. We have stories for fucking years, dude. We really do. We have so many fucking stories. I put in two stories and my worst two got in. Go next. Okay. Hey, you can write as many stories as you want. Every bad thing that's ever happened to you, please. Thank you, Kua K, for the 10 gifties. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by tonight. We're in the end cards now, yeah. <laughs> hey, if you made it to the end of the end card, thanks for watching. Thanks for upping the view duration. That's sick. All right. Cam on. Whew! Good segment. But don't leave, because I've got something to show you. Listen, if you're going to go, I won't be too upset, but at least leave the tab open. Because I can't wait to tell you about a little game I like to call Splitgate. That's right. We're playing Splitgate for an hour. Hey, guys, it's, it's Halo, but with portals. We're going to be giving it a shot. It is absolutely free to play, and we're going to be giving it a shot right now. By the way, Vince just sent me this. Check this out. Look at this. We're going to be doing split gate for about an hour. Don't listen. If you're going to leave, at least leave the tab open, all right? Help me out. I got to put this back on. One sec. We're going to be trying split gate. Guys, it's free. You guys can play with me. Come on. Come on. Don't you want to play with your, your favorite streamer? Oh, God. I got to get a different chair. This chair sucks. Dude, check this out. Do you see this? Holy shit. Look at the date. August 2021. <laughs> Nuts. It's been a long time. All right, let's play some split gate. I got to reattach this though. One sec. Dun dun uh where okay it's steam okay are you gonna keep looking like that no i'm gonna change back <laughs> give me a second hold on let's open it up got it but no 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 are Dono's back? Hold on. My partner just logged on to open your tab and support. God bless you for that. Whew. All right, hold on. I'm turning the... Ad okay, alerts are back on. If you want to be funny she and was a gigachi for the salad after the high five. Oh, God. We're back on the salute. I got to reload the overlays. All right, we're back. 
Okay. Turn on the monkey lamp or the tab closes. <laughs> Come on. I can't do that. That's going to fuck up the whole lighting. All right. Uh, uh, I, I got to... Hold on. Oh, this looks like Overwatch. The hell? All right. I have to do... I have to make sure everything's up and running. Do it or we leave. Fine. There. There's your fucking monkey. Okay? The monkey is... It's the bounty monkey now. Okay, here we go. One sec. Okay. Test, test, one, two. All right, we're back. Oh! Kylie, watch out, it's... Hello, streamer. My name is Brian, and my cringe confession is that I've never played Little Big Planet Diaries. Is that your TTS? Diaries, Sidilla Diaries, Diaries, Sidilla 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 Diaries, Thank you, Nirette. Very funny. God, it feels, uh, it feels stupid to have my hair to the other side. I don't like this. I look way more bald this way, right? Don't I look way more bald? I go like this. I go, I go, I go to the right. Like that. Oh, well, I guess it's still... Okay. Oh! God, I hate wearing a tie. Alright, let's go. So it's basically, uh, it's Halo, but with portals. Which is nice. Dude, I look so short in this chair. Hold on, I'm gonna change short. Oh, this is so much better. Oh, my back was killing me. But I feel like the gamer chair doesn't, you know what I mean? Like, it doesn't sell the, 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 the theming. Phew. Even chain chairs dedication. That was spur of the moment, dude. Dude, that was a lot of fun. I like that a lot. Thank you guys for writing in. If you guys are here and you wrote it. Sincerely. That would not be possible without other people. Thanks for letting me farm you. Oh, I legit never noticed the chair. I didn't think people would, but it's still like a nice little thing, you know? Guys, can we get big drinks for uh Hello streamer, just reminding you that I care not for little big planet. Uh -huh. him a successful CEO with a ah, wife and got it. I forgot you did say that. That last donor was absolute libel and a life right. fabricated by a fool. Drake up for uh Drake up for Vince. Because Vince came up with all the stories. Vince had, he didn't come up with the stories. He didn't write them. But Vince is the one that actually like went through all of them. Q and E. Oh shit. Okay. I'm not gonna get that. That's way too hard. Vince actually, uh, I, obviously I couldn't uh, be the one who, you know, saw the stories because I had to react to them naturally. So he was the one that actually. Uh, what? Oh, I see. He was the one that went through them and picked them. And he picked some good ones, dude. Wait a minute. Nirette's story didn't get told. Hold on. Yeah! God will confess the search since the first episode had too much his and poops. Hey, do you want the army story, the dating and courage story, the brother coming out story? Uh, I kind of like the brother coming out story. Do that one, Kanye, please. I suggest mapping those buttons to mouse buttons. Yeah, 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 probably. Uh, okay. What am I doing? Walk through enemy portal. Pick up enemy. Wait, I can pick up enemy stuff? Portal behind enemy. Oh, shit. <laughs> it is Halo. Kill enemy through their portal. <laughs> Wait, so I, but I can't see through it? I guess that would be a processing nightmare, dude. Like, if you could, if you had to render every portal, right? Oh my god. <laughs> that rules. 
I went through 250 stories and there were way more poop piss stories than you heard today. And of the 250, I only got 44. I hope we keep getting them. I really do. I don't want to run out. Spray? Team chat. Proximity chat. Okay. All right, so you beat the tutorial. Okay. We're going to set up a custom lobby, guys. So, here's my referral code. Sick. All right. Uh, can I set up a custom lobby? I mean, do I have enough people in chat to do it? If you guys want to play, let me see. Coney fun game. Right? Oh, wait, is it only eight players max? Hold on. No, make it more. What the fuck? Is this a fork knife rip? No, it's it's Halo, but with portals. Like portal portals. Let me see if I can make it bigger. Uh, okay. Custom. Create. Server name. Oh, hell yeah. Ten. Okay. Coney fun game for fun. Alright, uh, do we make it private? Password is Coney lowercase. Coney, are there boobs in this game? I haven't found them yet. <laughs> Why do I look like this? I do look kind of silly. It's free to play. If we can't get, uh, enough people, that's fine. I'll just play solo. Have you ever played this before? Literally no. I heard it was fun, but I'm not a Halo guy, nor a Portal guy. I'm not smart enough to be a portal guy. So I do kind of look like Isaac, that's true. I look like a paintballer. <laughs> I have like the the you know the the goggles. There we go. Ladle Lord and per Ladle Lord like from retail? No, Perks was chasing me down. Wait, no, Ladle Lord. You, was that you yesterday? With the IKEA ladle? It gets really boring in multiplayer. Wait, really? Can't be that bad, right? Thank you, huge hey, yo. anus. Oh, God, there's talk? <laughs> I gotta turn that off. It's probably fine, but I don't trust people. I can't I can't trust you. Hey, no. You no, 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 talk, don't talk, don't talk, don't talk. <laughs> don't talk. I'm doing a bounty. I'm doing a bounty. Don't do it. Turn it off. <laughs> You're gonna get me in trouble. Damn, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. All right, let's go. Absolutely not. Game starts in All right. Five, Team Deathmatch. All right, here we go. Deathmatch. Oh, damn, this looks like some Monday Night Fight Lock shit. All right. Ooh, take it with portals. That didn't do anything. Portal champing. Yup. Oh God. <laughs> All right, but that was kind of hot, though, right? This game is gonna have a huge skill cap. Yes. But now I got the BFB. I think it means big baton. Got him. Let's go, Ladle Lord. How do I heal? Oh, it's Halo. Right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. Don't worry, I'm going over there. Give me. Can I? Yeah, I just went backwards. Got him! Nope, no, 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 nope, nope, nope. That guy can't aim for shit. Oh, I got some bad chatters. Good lord. About to hit the baton. We go portal champ. Wait, what's the ZX, right? Z, Z, ZX? Z, ZX, yeah. All right, wait till I find someone. I have the energy sword, I think. I thought that was an enemy. I was about to hit the shit out of this guy. <laughs> Alright. Where are the bad guys? Where? Uh-oh. Goodbye, perks. Nope, nope, nope. Come down here. Bro, if I had a stream delay, doesn't matter. You're still... That was perks? How did perks get back up there? We're good. We're friends. Are we winning? Are we alpha or bravo? Nope. Sorry, Coney. I played this game, but Fortnite just added Star Wars again. You, that's a bat chest moment. Got him. Send it. 
No, hey, 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 hey. Mmm, nice try. Okay. My team's going crazy, though. What team? Wait, what, am I all, Brava or, or Al? I'm, I'm Alpha. Okay, I'm the Alpha. Got it. Portal for vision in the middle? Ah. Look at the smart chat. Come back up. Hey, he killed. <laughs> Who was that? I'm getting up there. Nope. Nope. Wait, how do I blow up other people's portals? I thought it was grenade. Whatever. All right, go, go, go. Move, move, move. This feels way too big. You know what I'm saying? Nope, 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 nope. Of course you would melee. Of course you would. Foolish. Starting to come out ahead. I've heard this game is mad fun, just kind of complicated. No, I don't fuck up. I don't fuck up. I hit those shots. Killing spree. True. How do we lose the lead? Triple? Triple kill? Triple? I got that. Okay. Sense too high. Sense too high. Reload. Reload. Where did Ziggy go? No. <laughs> You're trying to be sneaky, huh? You're trying to think with portals, huh? Maybe don't do so much thinking. Why would I do that? Ah! Oh, I tried to jump in. Is that a... No, not me. Many others, perhaps, but not me. Nope. Come on! Truce! 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 Both reload. Both reload. Both reload. Back. Back. Fight again. Oh, shit! He had to bring friends. He just had to bring friends. I'm out. No, I said I'm out! It just jumped out of the center. Why would I do that? I had a good run, though. I, I'm i almost top of the... Well, I guess everybody has 10 kills, at least. Never mind. Game the lead. You suck. It's my first game. I'll be really good soon. Oh, I thought that was someone else. All right. Yoop! <laughs> I just come out of the center like a baby. Nope. Nope, I'm a kid. Oh, this gun goes crazy. What the fuck? This gun is crazy. What the? Oh, he's wasting my time with the other stuff. All right, I got 14 kills. We're close. I don't even know what I had. I died in two shots. That guy must have had the gun I had. Guys, remember, Splitgate is free to play and available on Steam. If this looks like fun to you. I like it. I think it'd be hard to get your friends invested. You know what I mean? I mean, it being free kind of helps that, but... I don't know. It's hard to get friends to play anything that's new. You know what I mean? Did he die? What the... His ass is running. Nope! No, wait. Where'd he go? Where... The fuck? He's playing the magician class. Okay. All right. Houdini. Just hit the fucking ninja vanish. Uh. <laughs> I feel like there's a lot of cool things you can do with portals, but, like, the skills don't transfer. You know what I mean? That could be the problem. I didn't get teabagged. I think he was checking his controls. This is the first time a lot of us have played this game. So... It's good for crossplay friends because it's not caught. Oh, is it crossplay? Okay, that's a little different. Game over. Oh, we won. Did we win by one point? I think they had 49. Play of the game. Oh, he was in the den with like five of them. Wait, we lost. Wait, we won? I thought we lost. What? what? That showed us losing, I thought. What team am I on? Who. <laughs> Get three melee kills with BFB, three different game modes. Okay. What? He got a kill there too? Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, wait, what? I thought I lost. What the fuck, Splitgate people are playing again? I am playing for a bounty. Currently playing it. We're going to be playing for about an hour, maybe like 45 more minutes. Thank you guys for tuning in. 
All right, I'm going to make a new lobby after this game. Wait, can I change the map? Is this the same map? Yeah, this is the same map. I should have changed it. Shit. This gun sucks! Where's my burst rifle? I don't want the kill cam. Why are you showing me the kill? Skip. I know how he killed me. He shot me until I died. He didn't pull off some fancy shit. Assault rifle? Yep, yep, yep. Who? Who? Well, let me come up there. Nope. Thinking with port- Oh, I forgot. Th thinking- Thinking with portals. Th <laughs> Still thinking with portals. No way he doesn't die. Oh my god. That was crazy. 360? Close. Come on, slick back. Come here. Nope, nope. What? Oh, shit, Jesus! I didn't think I could go in other people's portals. I didn't know I was allowed to do that. Holy shit, I haven't even tried. I just, I, it was dark. I thought I couldn't go in there. Oh, grenades explode on impact. Ah. Never mind. What? Where did that person go? Oh, through their portal. Oh, so much sneaking. So much sneaking. Grenades are only for portals? Oh, do they not hurt people? Try it, bro. Why do I flick shot like that? I was not... Oh, I thought I got the kill, not the assist. Like, do I have a dot gun? Jesus. Man, I hope I look as good as Coney when I'm 57. I hope I look this good at 57, because I'm not 57. You know that. Come on. Yeah, run. Run. Oh, shit! Where'd he get a stick? He had a fucking baton. I have another gun. Oh, I do. Oh, you start with two guns. Ah. Nice trip. No, what? what? Coming back up there. Wait, am I not at the top? <laughs> Was that not? Oh, that's my teammate. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. It's fine. It's fine. Not a big deal. Thank you, Nya Official. <laughs> Very cute name. No, no, I got you. No, you had the element of surprise. That's all. You stuck up behind me like a fucking coward. If you were real, you would say something in the voice chat so I would know you were there. That's how I know that you're a real warrior. Thanks, Coney. It's official. Yeah, thanks. Congrats. Nope. Come here. Okay. Oh, his portal's gone now. Oh, when you die, your portal dies, too. Oh, shit! Came in with the fucking bat! Hit the boost? Had to watch that one. That dude hit the actual boost. Yeah, I'm not good enough to make this game look as good as it is, I think. Come on, bro. I'm... I was gonna hit him. I was gonna hit him. My dead body. That's the issue I can see with this game. Is like, it's so, like, I don't know. It's so deep, right? It has to be. What did he kill me with? I died in one shot. What gun is that? I need the carbine. Nope. Lasered. Lasered. Intense focus. Locked in. Oh, shit! I saw the other guy. Okay, listen. I was really good at Halo, okay? Because that's the boomer shooter. I was mad good at Halo. The only reason I'm dying is because of portals. These guys just know how to use portals. Once I figure it out, I'll be fine. Every death that I get is because of a portal, if you notice. Oh my god. Game 
over. I'm the last kill. Skip it. Skip the screen. Skip the screen. It was 2v1. It's not even impressive. Oh, was I not? Thank God. Oh. Where can I get this fun-looking game? That's a great question. It's actually on Steam for free right now. It's called Splitgate. All you have to do is search Splitgate. Check it out. All right, new new uh, custom game. Let's get some new people in here. If you uh, just played, please don't play again until we see if we fill it up. I just want to give everybody a chance to play. All right. Ponies. Fun game number two. All right. Ten. Oh, wait. That was the pro Dude, I was on the West Coast. What the fuck? No, go to the East Coast. That was the problem. Cringe. Crazy. Yes, we're playing for about an hour, so just a little bit more. Okay. Pretty sure first few games are against bots. <laughs> These are custom games. These aren't against bots. These are these are literally people with names in the chat. Coney, is this a one-time sponsor or a regular thing? One-time sponsor. It's a bounty. So basically, I play the game for an hour. Change map? True. Thank you. Pantheon, Helix, Club Silo. Can I not do random? Oh my god, there's so many. Oasis. This looks nice. Water and shit. Alright, is this 10? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Alright, if you were in the last games, join in. Hop in. Feel free. Dun dun dun. Try turning on Fiesta? Oh, is that a mo Oh my god, there's so many modes. One in the chamber, contamination, teabag confirmed. <laughs> What's Fiesta? Takedown, capture, domination. Contamination, one in the chamber. I don't know what one in the chamber is. We'll do team one in the chamber, I guess. We'll do teabag after. Is Fiesta like a mode? Could turn off the boundaries? Why are everybody switching guns? Oh, you can switch teams. <laughs> I love gun game. I'm a big fan of gun game. Wait. Yeah, I'm on this team. Alright. I play it in Valorant. I love that shit. You have to try T-Bag confirmed? We'll do that next. What's that? Where did you get the name, Connie? It's a long story. Don't worry about it. Can't tell you now. I gotta worry about... Wait, did I pick one in the chamber? Oh, I think I... I thought I picked gun game. Does that mean one shot? Oh my god. Gain the lead. I'm a sniper. Gain the lead. I'm a sniper player. It just means one shot, one kill, I guess. It's golden gun. Fuck. I'm out of ammo. Find a new weapon. What? <laughs> Where do I find a new weapon? Wait. No, stop shoot. Oh, you can't shoot me. You're so mad. Can I hit him? Got him. <laughs> Where's your weapon? Oh, I got one. I got a... Okay, I got a bullet. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Oh my god. So cringe. Who shot me? Oh, with the jetpack, dude? I forgot you could fly. <laughs> this feels so good. It really does. There's something about one in the chamber that feels nice. Okay. You only get a little bit of boost, though. This looks fun. I like this. Wait. Oh my god. It feels arcadey. Oh, goodbye, portal. No! Oh! Got him. Oh, okay. It feels so arcadey, and that's why I like it. Nope. 
Double kill. Dude, come on. I've got to be number one, right? Ten kill. Oh, my God. I'm killing it. One of the chamber is my mode, bro. See me on one of the chamber. Nope. Ooh, nice shot. Oh, shit. Come on. You want to bump? Kingslayer. Got shot instantly. I take it back. You don't suck now. You're novice. Thank you. Yeah. Told you. Just need one game. Oh, shit. Nope. Oh, my God. Of course you would shoot me when I'm unarmed. That's embarrassing for you. All right, here we go. We take to the skies. Where are the bad guys? I hear them. I don't see them. Can't see it. Okay. Was that person camping? Blast. No! Come on. <laughs> okay, so if you both melee, you just bang into each other like rams and both die. Okay, that's fun. What the fuck was that? That was like a bug. Who? What, Portal Freak was just like a fly that just came up to me. Dude, I actually would have went crazy if I shot him. That would have been a triple. One in the chamber. Two in the chamber. Gain the lead. Three in the chamber. Oh, ho, ho. Uh-oh. Why was I running out in the open? The Shouldn't have been running out in the fucking open. That's on me. Nope. Right here? Right here? Right here? Why would I stand still? Why would I do that? No reason to do that. Game over. Who won? Wait, what do you mean? Who won? What do you mean, game over? Who... <laughs> that doesn't say win or lose. <laughs> what? Who won the game? What? That's it? <laughs> the game is over. Okay, yeah. Try using portals. I know I need to. Kona, you're playing Splitgate? Yeah, I got a bounty. So we're playing it for a little bit. Try using portals and then hole. Hmm. I, uh, I mark that message uh, as, as helpful. I approve that message. Game is over if you lose. <laughs> Alright, let's do teabag. I don't know what this is. I don't know what the teabag mode is. Teabag your enemies to score points. Teabag teammates to prevent enemies from scoring Game points. Starts in Nobody five, teabag me. Do four, not teabag me. Three, two, one. Don't teabag me. Teabag I don't want you to do it. If you teabag me to prevent scoring po Ooh, I gotta get him. How do I get up there? Think with portals for the teabag. Think with portals. Huh. Got No, he left! Fuck! Why am I aiming down the sights? Up! Oh, got him, got him. Okay, so you just do it once. You just do it once. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. Oh, oh, nope. Teabag. Get him, boys. Confirmed! Got it. Okay. I see that guy there. I know. Thought I wouldn't see you? You thought I wouldn't see you? Give me the teabag! All right. Stop te... <laughs> I don't like the teabagging. I don't like it when it happens to me. It's very funny when I do it to other people. Right here? Right here? Oh, nice, nice strafing. Nice strafing, big guy. Yeah, very elusive. Nice. Hold on. Oh. Nope. I tried. Dude, I clicked the mouse button. I have the mouse button set to melee and halo. Oh my god. Fuck. No, what? Don't teabag me, Portal. Don't teabag me. I'm gonna ban. Okay. I 
don't like the teabag mode. Teabag him! Ladle Lord, teabag that guy! Can I ping him? <laughs> teabag him! Get him, get him! Let's go, Gars! Good shit. It's a team effort. Oh! Oh, he's already been teabagged. Teabagging is so gross, bro. <laughs> Look at the names! <laughs> How is cringe winning? Oh, it's because all you do is play this game. No, that makes sense. Get fucked. Tied the leader. No, you have to teabag. That's the problem. Guards, you gotta teabag people, bro. Bro, just let the teabag on the ground. Get him. Get the body. Nope. No, give me that. Give me that. I got it. I got it. Help, 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 help. Five minutes remaining. Oh, Harley. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. You should probably aim a little better. Wait. Give me that teabag. What's good? What are you doing shooting in portals? Give me it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Game over. Bro, instrumental. Victory. Instrumental in the dub. Truly. What a win. Based wins. <laughs> Base number one. As per usual. Did Nearred ever tell us the story, by the way? How was Ikea Royale? Uh, very rough around the edges, but pretty fun. It's a fun game for a little bit. Turn Fiesta on. It's RNG rollout. Uh, roll. Wait, where? how do I turn it on, though? Weapon options? Random weapons? That's it. I'll do random weapons, unlimited ammo. Unlimited clip size. Fuck it, yeah. Sure. Alright, uh, we'll do... Showdown? Takedown Showdown. Showdown sounds like, uh... SWAT Showdown? Oh, that sounds like tactical. Right? We'll do gun game? That's just random. Gun game with random? <laughs> that sounds funny. Because not everybody has the same guns. Showdown is hardcore mode. Game yeah, that's what I figured. In five, four, three, two, one. Gun game. All right, well, I started with the... Oh, we start with the same guns to advance. Never mind. Ooh, lower your tier. You're so mad. Wait, I'm still on gun tier one? I killed someone. No way. Dude, the recoil on this fucking gun! I hate this gun, dude. The, where? Who? What the fuck did that guy go? Shoddy snipers next? Is that just like shotguns and snipers? Ow! I can't kill anybody. First zero kill streamer. Who's who's on me? Oh my god, he was right next to me. Ugh. Alright, I'll get one kill though. Come on. Jesus Christ! The fuck was that gun? <laughs> Let me off this gun! Please! I want a different gun. Yes! Oh! Here we go. Now the real game begins. Oh my god. Reload. Okay. Oh! Okay, I'm on pistol. Macaroni is only on seven. It's not that bad. Okay. I'm on three. Three champ. If I see macaroni, I have to kill them with melee. Unless they're across the map. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Yeah! Stop! <laughs> what the fuck? It was that like a blaster? Dude, he like charged it. 
All I heard was Got it. All right. Oh, this is the plasma shit. Nope. No, no, no. I'm good. Oh, my God. Ronnie. Jesus Christ. I don't like gun game. This is too hard. This gun sucks. Jesus. Is this actually sponsored? Yeah. Yeah, it's a bounty. I play the game for an hour and they pay me some money to do it. Oh, shit. I got so lucky with that shoddy. Nope. Did I hit him? I hit him, right? Did I not hit him? Are you fucking kidding me? Oh my god. Ah! Okay. Nope. No, I, let me no scope. I'm just gonna. I got an assist. Wait, reloading. One second. Time out. Try it again. Wait. Try. Keep. Keep. Wait. Got him. Oh, hell yeah. Now I got a bat. Donk! Oh, my God. How did he beat me to the fucking bat? We hit the button at the same time. Oh, my God. How high is your sense? It, it's normal. I have normal sensitivity. I'm not a sensitive Sally. Oh, this guy's dead. Harley, turn around. No! He's taking my fucking kills. Oh, God. Blast him! Is this a rocket launcher? What? Oh, now we're popping off. Here we go. Nope. Oh, you got a bat, huh? No, you're not fighting me. No, 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 no. Nope. Let me down. Let me down. Oh my god. Whatever. I killed Ladle Lord. I'm happy. Okay, you know what? I didn't land in the bottom half, right? Okay, I, I'm, I'm in the bottom half, but I'm at the top of the bottom half. It's only like my third game. Wait, I'm thinking with portals. They already had a portal there. They already had- I was gonna try to- I was trying to make a portal around the wall, you guys. Oh my god, rocket. Fire. Got him. Die. What? Die. Oh my god, you give me the fucking bat? Come here. Dunk! Right here. Send it. Okay. Oh my god. Come on, portal. Oh my god. Where'd he go? <laughs> Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Okay. Alright, well, if you went around the other way, you were dead. If you went around the other way, you definitely would have died. Ooh. Nope. Not me. Oh, I'm coming. Okay, okay. Maybe me. That's fine. That's fine. Bro, he's so sneaky. Think of the portals. Portal champion. Ooh. <laughs> God damn, broke his fucking skull. Okay. Don't like gun game. Not for me. A little cringe. A little bit too try hard. In my humble opinion. Don't like it. It was a tie. No. All right, let's make a new lobby for new people. Because I feel like a lot of people probably, hopefully, have been able to download it. We're 40 minutes into the bounty, which means we have 20 more minutes, which means maybe like one or two more games. So we'll make one more lobby. Tony, final lobby. Here we go. EU East, 10 players go. Hop in, everybody. God, this game's fun. 
I like this a lot. I don't know if I would keep playing it because like there's so many games out right now, but I can see why people love it. Feels like it's hard for games like these to get a chance, right? Because like there's just so many games coming out at any given time. Looks like on Steam there are 1,500 people playing it right now, which is not bad at all, considering the saturation. How does the stream elements thing work? Is it real or a goof? What do you mean, the sub count? No, I'm one away from my goal. So my goal is 2848. If I get one more sub, then we hit the goal. We've been there for a while, though, so I hope we hit it. I mean, if anybody is a prime and we could hit it, you know, that'd be great, but... Very close. You know, I don't like asking for primes too much, right? Don't want to oversaturate, but... Very close. Oh, unless you're talking about the free sub. Yeah, you hit exclamation point claim. And then, uh... And then you're gonna get your free sub at a different point during the stream. Alright, random weapons, unlimited ammo, unlimited clip. Sick. Let me make sure that actually works. No, this game's really fun. I like this a lot. Uh, we go... Olympus. And we play... What's contamination? Oh, that's like, that's probably like, you know, when you die, you become a zombie and you have to get all the zombies, right? Probably like that. Take down VIP oddball capture. What's the, uh, what's the best shoddy sniper? Zombie mode. Yeah, I guess we just do normal mode. VIP is my favorite mode. All right. Wait, zombie VIP? What's zombie VIP? I want to see that. Game starts in. Each team has a designated VIP. Four, Kill the VIP to three, score points. VIP cannot two, spawn portals, but has one. double health. Zombie VIP. What? Oh my god, I'm so fast. Oh, zombies only have melee? <laughs> hey, Ziggy, turn around. <laughs> oh, there's VIP. Got him. <laughs> oh my god. This is brutal. Jesus. Everybody's the scout. Oh my god. Bro just came out of nowhere. Lost the lead. That's fine. That's fine. Where's the Oh, oh you can see the VIP. I didn't notice that. Come on, Harley. Come on. Give it up. Give it up. Hello, young man. <laughs> Tied the leader. Oh, I'm thinking of I'm thinking with portals, bro. I'm thinking with portals. They didn't think I was thinking with portals, but I am. Where's VIP? VIP champ? Was that them? VIP? VIP? That's my VIP. Where's VIP? 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 Oh, I found them. VIP detected. Mm, salty Steve. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Where is he? Uh oh. Okay, he's down. Where's the next VIP? Next VIP? On the map? Dude, I can't tell. Oh, this might be a flux moment. I literally can't tell by the colors. Oh, there we go. Ziggy. All right, Ziggy. Bring that ass here. Oh. <laughs> Got knocked out in midair. I guess it takes a few seconds for the next VIP to load in. There it is. Uh oh. Yeah, try to protect Harley. Okay, you did a great job. You you did a fantastic job of protecting your king. Where the fuck is their VIP? Aha! Come out. Come down here. Come down here. Oh! Wow, that guy spared me. Where'd he go? No! Nope. <laughs> I can't even see that fast. Holy shit. It's like the moment he was on my screen, I died. Come on. Oh, that guy's dead. Damn it. I didn't make the jump. Nope. Where did... Where did their VIP go? Insane. Oh, I'm the VIP. Finally, some recognition. Oh, no. <laughs> Get the fuck away. What? From where? I just was looking there. 
What? I was just looking there. How did? Where did he come from? Five minutes remaining. That's a long time. Come on, Harley. <laughs> come on. Got him. <laughs> Double kill. Very sneaky. Very sneaky. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh. Dude, the running sound kills me. Just do, 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 do. All right, where's their guy? No way we killed each other. No fucking way. Here we go. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Nope. Nope. Not me. Not me. Not me. Not me. Not me. Many others, perhaps. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Okay. No. Ha! Ah, ah! Where was my bodyguard, dude? Why did nobody protect me? Dude, I told I told you guys at the beginning of that stream, that Gimmer thing was insane. I was watching that stream for two hours waiting for something to happen. That was crazy. <laughs> like literally two hours waiting for anything to occur. Alright, here we go. I'm camping. I'm camp champ. Get him. I'm camp champ. Alright, Brad. Protect me, brother. No, oh, you see that guy? Go get him. No, look behind me, behind me, Kino, Kino. Ah! Where was my fucking Brad? Where did Brad go? Brad, what are you doing? Brad, where's my team? Oh, I thought that was my teammate. I actually thought that was my teammate. Resident Evil jump scare. Holy shit, dude. Mm. I won, actually. Did he ch charge that? Like... This is a long game mode. Okay, that's fine. I wasn't even the VIP. I don't care. Who cares? Must be on EU West again. I do have to change that every time. That's true. I forgot. Dude, I'm really happy with tonight. I am very happy with how Cringe Confessional went. Sometimes I feel like when I do an idea, it, like, doesn't quite pan out in the way that I was thinking. Or, like, it doesn't, uh, really live up to sort of what I have in my head. But tonight was, like, perfect to me. How soon is Wheelchamp? Uh, I need to do something sometime because we're running out of YouTube, uh, stuff. I was thinking about doing Salty Bet and maybe a Shitty Genie tomorrow. But I definitely want to do, uh, Wheelchamp soon. I need more Wheelchamp topics. That's the other issue, is coming up with fun stuff is sometimes, like, one of the ideas is, uh, video game box art, but I feel like there's some box art that everybody knows about, right? That isn't that exciting, so. My wife rarely watched your stream with me, but she stuck around for all of CC. I hope I didn't turn her away with the, uh, I was a little crass tonight. I love being able to do that, though. <laughs> I feel bad for anybody that hasn't seen me in that mode. That, like, you know, maybe wholesome uwu Kony or have, like, a perception. Because we had a lot of new people, but it was very fun. Oh, I didn't want to do zombie VIP One. again. Zombie VIP. I wanted to play again, but not zombie... Oh, I killed the lobby. All right, one more, one more. Where does video game intros? Maybe cutscenes? I think cutscenes would be better, but, yeah, I hear what you're saying. Best cheap but not free game? Mm, no. No, because then what is it? Is it like a dollar? Promote web surf more so we get more websites? Maybe. I might do that. I could probably tweet about it. It's been a long time. Yeah, cutscenes is a good one, I think. The problem with cutscenes, though, is that, like, the glory of Wheelchamp is being able to go through sh stuff fast. It's like I bring it up, I'm like, oh, that sucks. I can put it away. With cutscenes, you have to watch the whole thing. Right. Glitches? Uh, maybe. Right now the wheel has... Hold on. Right now the wheel has uh, best game on Itch.io, which is basically just me sneaking in grab bag, but making people watch. Um, worst game box art. Funniest mobile ad. This is actually because I did... I wanted to do a Reddit thing for Reddit... Uh, mobile ads, but they're all sex. 
And I'm like, this is corny. Like, I can't do content of this because it's like the same thing and it's not funny. But if other people found it, it would be funny. I think. Best animal? <laughs> I just like animals. I think it'd be funny. People just submitting fun stuff. Funniest Twitch clip? This is actually... Uh, I love this one because it's it's fast and quick and it's uh and and it it could be funny, you know. Animals are good. Weirdest fighting game character was a hit. This was actually my first one that I came up with, so I'm glad that it did well. By the way, Leon, thanks for stopping by, man. We watched uh, the motion inputs video a few weeks ago. Loved it. Really impressed with what you're making, dude. Sincerely. Good shit. Of, like, you or anyone on Twitch. Anybody on Twitch. Just the funniest Twitch clip. Anybody. What's the biggest animal you could beat in a fight? A camel. Probably. Alright, uh, if you've been in the past games, you can join up. Unless we only have, uh, what, seven? Eight? Okay. The clip ones are good because they're short, right? Speaking of animals, you could have viewers send in pictures of their pets and rate them. Not a bad idea, actually. I like that a lot. Cutest pet. What's the new lobby? Oh, God, I don't know. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> lobby name, last server. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. We need two more spots. Weirdest controllers? Uh, I don't know. I feel like the controller thing is like there's like a couple ones that people know about that are weird and that's it, right? All right, let's do one more. This is the problem with uh, Halo is that like there's so many modes. Fiesta Domination. Oh, hell yeah. There we go. There's so many modes, but they, like, I don't know. Oh, this is King of the Hill. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Domination. Oh, I forgot to change the map. Whoops. Secure. Whatever, it's not worth changing now. How do I get up? 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 Uppies? Uppies? Oh, I still get two guns, even on Fiesta? Okay. Nope. Couldn't kill me with a shotgun. Omega laugh. Where? Okay, C, B. How do I get up to B? You thought I wouldn't kill you. That's so crazy. You thought I wouldn't do that. Bro, how the fuck do I get up to B? Oh my god. It's all the way at the top of the fucking level. Found it. Alright, Macaroni. We're friends now. B secured. Good a shit. Fine. Finally get a new gun. Finally. Thank you. You did me a favor. Weird commercials? Kind of. I didn't I didn't know if I wanted to do commercials because I don't want to bite too much on like the Atrioc thing, right? Because he's the marketing guy. But I think we could I was gonna do weirdest video game commercials because that feels more like, you know, more gaming adjacent. But I think it's fine. A secure. I could, pr I could still make it work, you know? Losing C. Who would beat Popeye in a fight and submit lost. characters, but they all lose? I had an idea for a stream like that that I pitched to Vince, and he's like, that'd be funny on Twitch and awful on YouTube. And it might not even be that funny on Twitch. But I'm not going to tell you what the idea is in case I want to do it one day. <laughs> it's very stupid. Secure. Come on, man. Close. Losing B. It sucks that one-off stream segments don't tend to do well. Secure. I mean, uh, lost. if a if a, a segment lost. does well, then I'll keep doing it, right? We'll clearly do cringe confessional again. It did really well. And even if something doesn't do well, but if I believe in it, I'll try it again, and we'll just say it's bad SEO. Losing C. Secured. Like, the first shitty genie didn't do great, but I was like, this is so fun, and I love doing it, and it's so stupid and silly. I want to do more. And so we tried it again, and Vince found a new way to, to pitch it on the thumbnail, and it worked. 
Yeah, I'm not big on this mode either. I don't like this either. It's a mistake. I think I'd like deathmatch more. I keep forgetting I spawn with two guns, yeah. Five minutes remaining. A secured. Losing C. I think we're kind of dominating though, right? Losing B. Sick. That's my second gun. Sniper. Okay. Cool, cool. Come on! It's like CS go. I die before I even see him. The fun is draining from Coney's eyes. I'm just tired, dude. Tonight was a long Lost. night. I did not mean to do uh, wheel ch er, wheel champ. I did not mean to do cringe confessional for that long. It just happened that way. I didn't think it would continue going. You know what I mean? Went really well though. Losing B. Why does Coney alt tab every time he dies? Because I'm looking at my other screen. I've got Discord open. I've got some other stuff open. I'm talking with Vince. A secure. No way. Not with the pistol. I'm just too tired. I'm too tired. That's all. That's all it is. Best weapon is bat? Yeah, bat seems crazy. Well, well, well. <laughs> I'm just too tired. Definitely. That's all. Oh, shit! I tried to portal out. I tried to dip. Am I on Bravo? I still don't know. I think I'm on Bravo. Yeah. Losing B. B lost. Definitely split today into two videos. That's up to Vince. I agree with you, honestly. I think we should do two. But the risk of it is what if the first one bombs? Do we really want to hold the second one? You know what I mean? I think we should do two, but we'll see what Vince wants to do with it. I'll let Vince make that call. First one bombed, just bad SEO or whatever. Yeah, maybe, actually. I mean, could be. Had a lot of new people in here, which I'm happy about, you know? We've been trying to find something to, like, break out of the current, like, sort of spot that we're in. Because, like, we're in a good spot, don't get me wrong. But you always want to expand and try new stuff, you know? Is it first to 500? Okay, that lasted way too long. Oh my god. Holy shit. Vince is your editor? Yeah, he's my full YouTube guy. He does everything. Does YouTube, thumbnail, SEO, blah, blah, blah. Ideas. Lost the lead. Title the first one I poop my pants. I mean, it's all poop stories. <laughs> Be lost. Oh, gorgeous. Every shot is a flick shot. Constantly. Nuts. Be secured. Losing all right. A. A lost. This is too long. <laughs> I picked the wrong final game mode. The leader. This is a bad Gain idea. The lead. Although it is and close. Secured. No way I lost to that. I was gonna say, did he kill? Oh, what the fuck? I had a rocket launcher in my secondary? <laughs> Holy shit, dude! But no! No way. I gotta keep this. Don't kill me. Wait, is it not first to 500? What the hell? How high do we go? Losing A. One minute remaining. A lost. Oh, first to six. Okay. All right, we go A on this. Losing C. C lost. All right, we got A. A secure. Almost done. King Slayer. Yeah, not a fan of domination. Gonna be honest. What does SEO mean? Uh, search engine optimization. Basically, trying to get your video to the top of search Game results and make it show up and recommend it and stuff. Basically. Yep. 
All right. Uh, that's Splitgate. If you guys want to check it out, it is on Steam right now for free. Thank you guys for popping in and playing. And thank you guys for watching. I am very tired, so I'm going to go to bed. Bounties are fun. All right. Uh, I'm streaming tomorrow. I don't know what we're doing. Like I said, I really want to do Salty Bet because I haven't done it in a while, and I've been teasing people with it. Um, so we'll do that. Maybe we'll watch the Gimmer thing. Uh, go ahead. Go, go, go. Go watch Atriot, because he was very brave to tell us about his story tonight. All right? Very brave indeed. Go ahead and pop over there. <laughs> Big fan of Paper Mario. <laughs> yeah, excellent. Don't let him call me Poop Boy. He better not do that. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. How I love this pretty bed. Now I'll rest my weary head. Good night.